Oakley and if you are new to this channel or you have not done so already be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel there is a super chat that runs alongside the show while it is live but most importantly if you would like to join the panel simply mute the page you are currently listening to then click the link in the info box below this video to join the discussion and express your views on the shape of the earth. There are a couple of rules in the hangout. Number one, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. And if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcome back on the next stream. In a moment, I'm going to transition across to the hangout as we do have some nice images of sunrises and sunsets for you to all enjoy. And while you're enjoying them, please, please share the show. Sharing the show obviously increases the live audience, but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel. So please, please share the show. And one last time, if you are new to this channel or you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. Nathan, you there? Oh, I've been joined by our first guest. How are you doing, Sleepy Warrior? Uh, good to have you here. I'm good, man. I'm good. Um, just a bit of feedback for you. Feedback um, on what? <clears throat> yesterday, I was speaking to a couple of different flat earthers, uh, one of which you spoke to for about an hour after the hangout, and another one that I was speaking to on Skype. And <clears throat> both people were telling me that they're being sniped repeatedly, and they can't actually get on the show. So I think what's beginning to happen is we're missing the amount of flat earthers that are trying to get on the show, but are being sniped that do actually want to stay on the show. And we're just thinking that they're leaving, but they're actually getting sniped and they can't come back. So I think it's probably worth saying if, if flat earth, if you are a flat earther and you get sniped, either put the message in chat and direct it at Nathan so that Nathan sees it hopefully and tell and then we know that you got sniped because <clears throat> we can get you back in through Skype if necessary. So, it's just something to be aware that there was two yesterday that I spoke to. One was the one that you spoke to for an hour after the show, uh, and the other one was somebody on Skype. I don't want to say both names because they might not want me to, uh, but two flat earthers couldn't get on the show because they keep getting sniped. Fair enough. If I know them, like I say, I'll just add them on Skype. We've been joined by <clears throat> P. Mars. How are you doing, P? Good to have you here. I'm good. <clears throat> uh, Riley, have you ever considered this flat earth proof? Because, like, I just noticed, I was just thinking, our our shoes are flat. Yeah, I've, I've considered, like, they're the how come, how come our shoes don't have a curve if the earth is curved, you know what People I'm saying? Like, that, them shoes exist. You need them shoes when you're going around Pontchartrain, because that's how much curve you see at Pontchartrain. Why don't, like, if the earth was a sphere, don't you think that our shoes would be curved, too? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make no, any sense. only only at Pontchartrain. That's where you can buy them shoes at Soundley's shop because I believe Soundley Soundley's got a shop and he sells shoes like that. So if you want them shoes, but they only work in Pontchartrain. Have you thought? Have you used this proof before on ballers? No, obviously I've never been to. But Soundley's got a pair. Ask Soundley. He'll give you. He'll, he'll tell you. Been joined by Lottie. How you doing, Lottie? Good to have you here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Morning. Justice for Ranty. Justice for Lottie, knucklehead. <laughs> I do like my um, my description of you being the Knuckle Brothers, so though. Very much my favourite thing. Yeah, the Knuckle Brothers. Yeah, it's all right. If you're going to call me like names like that, you have to accept that flamboyant dickhead would be there for your back. Yours back. That's fine. You're not very good. You at do have a style. I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, you do have a style. I'll, I'll give you that much. You have no style. You're not very good at this banter game, um, Riley, so I'm more than willing to play with you. 
Have you have you seen the poncho train shoes that um, P Miles is on screen right now? You can buy your very own poncho train shoes. No, I'll have a look at them. Let's have a look. Let's see. I don't know whether this is my flat Earth evidence. Um, if you notice, <laughs> they, they don't really... soundly shoes, selling them on his channel. Shoes. The soles of your shoes are flat. They're designed to work on a flat plane. So, like, why don't we have curved shoes if the Earth is a sphere? <clears throat> you can buy them on a poncho t-shirt. Lofty, you can, you can buy them on a poncho train t-shirt just like that. Yeah, I like them. Um, Riley, where's Ranty? I'm getting pretty poor at the moment. I've just had a massive bill, so I'm just looking on trying to get my money. I believe he's taking independent legal advice on how to recover a civil debt. Well, hopefully not from you. Well, actually... <laughs> From you, I hope he's getting it from you. I'll, I'm certain to win. <laughs> Justice for Ranty. Right. So, what's up? What's happening today? Is it the I Love Man show again? No, no. I was going to ask you what was your um, your evidence that you accept that we live on a ball. <gasps> oh, here's Rumpus. Oh, hang on. Is it? How you doing, Rumpus? Oh, I reckon that's good to have you here. Uh, hello. hello, Rumpus. Welcome. Hello, Luffy. Come on, Rumpus. Um, where you just at? Let you Riley, just a second. Let me tell Rumpus that all presentations must be at least 30 minutes long on this episode. Oh, I can at do least that. 30 minutes long. I'm going for a bath. <laughs> I can do that. Um, I've got, I've, I, I'm nearly, I'm on the verge of having a complete presentation of the whole issue with all the data and things, but I haven't quite got that far yet. But uh, hopefully within a day, I will have all the data and now, missing, this, missing distances and things all sorted. <laughs> I feel the urge to remind you that you were just simply asked to X marks the spot for where the lighthouse should be. That was all. Oh yeah, well, yeah, but I was gonna, yeah, but I'm doing the whole thing as well. I mean, I'm. Uh, um... are, you a t are you a teacher? No, because you act very much like a teacher. Well, it's very easy for you to think that, given that I'm teaching a lot, um, so I can understand why you think that. But I just simply, yeah, um, I'm oh, not hearing you teach. I don't actually teacher. think that. Sure. I just. If I was to use an adjective to describe you, it would be more like a reverend or a priest preaching mm -hmm. rather than a teacher teaching. But your approach, your approach on the uh, presentations front is very much like a teacher. Well, I have to, uh, I have to be absolutely explicit with you because you, because every single little problem that you encounter, you get the answer wrong. So I have to provide every little detail, every little step, every little micro step of logic and reason evidence I have to provide. So that might seem to you like um, being a teacher because I have to, because I can't rely on your own knowledge and reason and ma maths to, to get you over these tiny little problems. So I have no, to present I, you I very, very your evidence either. How, you, how you do these things. And that obviously is going to seem like a teacher to you because normally with, you know, if I talk to Paul, for instance, or epistemology, I could just leap over little problems and just assume they understand what's going on with this the phrase. Whereas with you, I have to explain every single mathematical reason. No, no, you don't. Logical step. Oh, I do. I, oh, I do. If, if I ask you to point out where the point of a lighthouse should be, X marks right. the spot is fine. That's okay. That's right. That is, that is, that, that's a simple question. Yes. Which, which, to which I can give a simple answer. Yes. That's all I want. I just want to know what you've, because uh, I can tell oh. you if you like. Yeah, sure. That's what I'm I've got. A, I've got a presentation on, um, well, a moderately sized presentation on the accuracy where I think you're standing in the two videos and also uh, the accuracy of Google Earth and the issues around that. And as well as the um, and I, as well as this, where the lighthouse is. Um, so I don't yeah, know if people will be interested that, in that. The only thing that really we're in, I mean, the exact position of where I might be standing is not that relevant. It really isn't because I've already conceded that I'm somewhere in the middle for yeah, the well, second I've, video. Yeah, well, I've identified it nearly exactly where you are and your height. <sighs> I don't think it's important in the bigger scheme. In the bigger picture. Oh, it's very important. Well, when I give the final details of, for instance, how much the light is, um, the, the, the uh, missing bits of the things we're looking at, exactly what's missing, what's there, what height they're at, and so therefore whether there's any discrepancy between the Metabunk calculator and what we're looking at, it will be very important. Mm, it won't, because it isn't going well, to change will, the evidence. Obviously, how can you say it won't be? If the Metabank calculator relies on your observer height and then says this so far much will be missing, and therefore this <clears> bit <throat> of the lighthouse should or should not be there, how can you say that's not important? Because in the context of the bigger picture, Douglas, you need a 1,000 feet of observer height. Well, you, we're not looking at Douglas. 
Mm, everybody That's in Douglas not... tends to disagree with you. No, well, no, they don't. All sensible people don't. No, I can get them on the on the hangout right now that live in Douglas and recognise their own city. Yes, but that, that's irrelevant. We're looking at a picture of their uh, of the Isle of Man. They're not looking at that. They're just looking around them in the house. They they can't have an opinion because there's nothing distinguished. With, well, I can they identify can, the I, things that I can I, identify the things in the picture, and they're not in Douglas. They're yeah, but the problem now. you've got is if you can identify them using maths, and we have people that live there that recognise their own city. That's like saying if you live in Nottingham, well, they're mistaken. They're, they're looking at blurry images. They're mistaken. It's more likely that they know what they're looking no, at. No, it's not. They're, it's, they're, they're, not. They, 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 no, it's not. Absolutely, they're absolutely wrong. If they think they can see Douglas, they're mm. absolutely wrong and they're mistaken. Just because they live somewhere doesn't mean to say they can determine blurry images any better, any better than anybody else. Yes, but if you say, for example, you're from Nottingham, and let's just say you're Jeremy and you live Nottingham way, and then someone says that's Nottingham, and Jeremy says, "Yep, that's Nottingham," I would tend to believe that. Yeah, if, but if, if I give them a blurry image of Nottingham, but if, but if somebody that they, said, that they can't distinguish, and they're not used to looking at blurry if, images, if from somebody miles said to away, me, they're not going to be equipped to do it. If so somebody asked me, sorry, I've, got to, I've just got to interject just one second. They travel across on the boat and get that exact perspective of it, Rumpus. The exact perspective we are looking at, they see well, from the boat. Well, the, these people are mistaken. I mean, whatever, whatever they're, <laughs> whatever it is, they are mistaken. <laughs> if they, if they agree with you, I, I suspect the intellectual level of the people who are agreeing with you is not so good. Um, but they are mistaken. What, you mean honest? No, they're mistaken. No, they might mean, think they're perhaps, perhaps, because, okay. Uh, okay. Well, they're okay. okay. Sorry, Rumpus. Just one more point then. Sorry, Rumpus. Just one more point. Just want to get you, you to either confirm or deny this. So Paul drew a line on Google Earth from the vantage point to Douglas. We absolutely, unequivocally, on Google Earth, had line of sight with Douglas. Do you deny no, or confirm that that's the case based on what no. he physically showed us on the model? You can't see it. You cannot see Douglas on the uh, in the picture. Is this a, okay, it's not just something. Okay. I didn't actually hear your answer. So you didn't hear my answer. All oh, right, I replied. Yes. Uh, no. No. We can't. We cannot see Douglas on the picture. Of the composite picture, the new comp, either co any of the composite pictures. That's not what that I asked. I'll just ask it one more time, Rumpus. So Paul demonstrated on a model called Google Earth. I'm sure you're familiar with it. He drew a line of sight from the vantage point to Douglas, and it was unobscured. He tried to oh, hold on, hold on. You haven't understood my question, so I'm rephrasing it for you. He categorically denied that it was Douglas, while me and lots of residents of the Isle of Man laughed. And pointed out that it literally had line of sight on the model, not the image. No. This is what we're contesting. So I'm asking no, you, I'm asking you on the Google Earth model, do you confirm or deny that we had line of sight with Douglas? Well, I don't know what you're doing. That, but the, the, there is no line of sight from Anthony's viewpoint to Douglas that doesn't go through the uh, curve of the Earth. You cannot. I will see try it. a third time. So. On the model called Google Earth, where Paul drew a line no, from you can draw the a line vantage on Earth. point. Yes, to it, but it's behind the curve. I'm asking a specific Nathan, question. Nathan, I'm asking a specific curve. question in relation feel, to feel Google feel Earth, feel Rumpus. Feel. I would just like you to either confirm that on the model that Paul drew a line on from the vantage point to Douglas, are you confirming or denying that we had? Line of sight on no that model. How am I supposed to know that? I'm the asking you specifically is, no, you can draw on you can the draw model. Google Earth from the vantage point to Douglas. Yes, you can. You can just catch the left-hand side of Douglas on Google Earth, but that doesn't. But it does not appear on the picture. Okay, so just to clarify, we on the model of Google Earth from the vantage point do have line of sight with Douglas. Thank you. Well, yes, on Google Earth, but that's behind the curve. You might as well say you've got line of sight to Florida, uh, but that you can't. Well, we don't have a photograph of Florida, you pedantic idiot. We have and a we photograph, have a of, photograph the of the Isle of, of Man. Douglas either, you idiot. Okay, so I will be clear that I'm asking specifically about a photograph that we have of the Isle of Man. Nothing to do with Florida. But not it is of absolutely Douglas. relevant, and no we are Douglas testing the model photograph. called Google Earth. So when There's we no check Douglas on when we photograph. check on Google Earth, if we have line of sight, that is what is relevant. Well, you know, we have line of sight of Florida as well, so it's relevant. On the, no, on we don't. Google we don't have line of sight of Florida. We do have line of sight with Douglas. No, Absolutely. 
which is the question well, we I asked. Thank you, thank you, Rumpus, really? for confirming that on your model of Google Earth, we do have line of sight with Douglas. Thank you. As we do with Florida, yes. So you might as well say Florida. It's exactly the same point as Florida. I think it's Florida. We're not looking at a photograph of Florida. You Again, you, you Florida. pedantic idiot. So you might, we you are well talking point, about the Isle of Man. And I will thank right. you a third time for confirming that on the model called Google Earth, we do have line of sight with Douglas. Thank you. And we also have line of sight with Florida. We don't actually. Technically, it's French Guyana on your map. Oh, is it? Okay, French Guyana. We've got a line of sight with French Guyana then. If, 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 um, so so correct, your which... crappy pedantic point wasn't even worth making and incorrect. Well done, but Rumpus. Is, I'm just pointing out Total how fail on all regards again. Absolutely <clears throat> Total fail again, yet again from irrelevant. Rumpus. Your point is irrelevant. If you don't understand it's irrelevant, then you're an idiot. Okay, so Rumpus, let me ask you. If we're not seeing Douglas on the uh, on the evidence, can you show us what the evidence lines up with? Not what it lines up with, but what it matches with the land. Because okay, unfortunately, I can't share. For some reason, I can't share. I can try showing Google Earth on here. Um, I can, uh, uh, but let me just see if I can show uh, screen share because my for some reason it disappears. But I can, so I can. Let's just try it anyway again. Why are you doing that, Rumpus? So are we now trying to um, basically discredit what Google Earth showed us as us having line of sight with? Is that what we're about to do? No, he's going to try and show how it's it's not Google Earth. I don't understand how how you're having such difficulty here. Yes, you can draw a line from Australia to New York. Let's stay on topic, Rumpus. Let's stay on the photograph that we're looking at. We have yeah, established. That's, that's exactly it's all right, Rumpus. I'll let you. I'll let you tuck yourself out. It takes a while right, sometimes. Can, can you, right? Can you see? Can you see Google Earth here? No, we see a so white page. White. While you sort out your incompetence with your screen yeah, okay, sharing, I, I, I'll just clarify what's happening. Sure. You're about to tell us that it's not lining up with Douglas based on the evidence that you're about to present. So you are about to debunk the Google Earth model and what it shows us. Just to clarify for the audience, what's about to happen? <laughs> There's a curve there. You can't see behind the curve on the photograph obviously yes we can I mean, this is basic. yes we absolutely can see behind the curve that's why we're looking at douglas it should be approximately a quarter of no, a mile behind not. earth douglas. curve and is not that's why it's we are looking at it douglas all right i've got my thing on screen uh rumpus can you see my screen oh, let me just get my right uh, here's here's the photograph with the images on it so i can show you right so uh, sorry let me jump sorry anthony i was just uh, here is the photograph that um, has been recomposed. And the left-hand side of it has been done quite well. I've checked it absolutely thoroughly. I've checked it perfect. It's at, and I've, I, I've, I had two errors in it to about halfway along of minor errors, but up to here, he's actually composed it properly. It goes a bit bonkers after that, but it's still just about accurate enough to do sensible things. Right, so here's the photograph. I don't know if you can see this. That is the left-hand hedge. That is not Douglas. Douglas is the mountains in front of Douglas. Douglas is sort of over here and behind that. That those mountains there are um, in front of Douglas. So we can't see Douglas we have in the Balacanal. image. We can't here see we Douglas have... at all. Sorry, just to get this clear, we can't see Douglas at all in this image. Correct. So Google Earth is so... completely wrong. No. Yes, I've just established I don't this. How Google Earth. Google does Earth not says we have line of sight with Douglas. You're saying we don't have no, line of sight of Douglas in the actual evidence. No, right. So okay. Google Earth is wrong, correct? The, the, Google Earth allows good, you good, to good, good, line Google line Earth is wrong. Ever. Google well, Earth says talk, we should see it. Oh, no, let me finish. Good, good, good. Google Earth is wrong. It says we should no, see it. We've just established you. that. Look, You're saying out, it's not there. If I get a map, if I get a map, good, good. Google Earth's wrong, correct? From a plan, I can Good, Google Earth's wrong. Good, good. Google Earth's wrong, isn't it? Good, good, good Google Earth's wrong, Rumpus. Good, good okay. Google Earth's wrong, isn't it? So Google Earth shows Great, us I'm that we have line of sight and we don't, yeah. according to Rumpus. Thanks. This is really, really concise Google Earth debunking by Rumpus. Google Earth says we have line of sight with it, but we don't. No, it doesn't. Wait, wait. Google Earth says you can draw a line on a plan view from the vantage point to Douglas. Yes, it says you can do that, but it doesn't say you can see Douglas. That's what it is. It's a sight line, you moron. It's a line no, of sight. Are. It shows you what you can the see. Plan view. If you're looking at pl I, I don't pay okay, pay it's all right. We've Google already Earth. established firmly enough for the audience, Rumpus, that Google Earth says we can see it, and you're saying we can't. No, Therefore, because Google Earth is wrong. You have to have Thank you very much. And it has Drops to allow for the, the mic. I mean, this is this is incredible. I mean, you're you're using logic that a 13 year old would see was idiotic. If you're looking at a map, you can draw a line between points on a map. 
And so that's what you do in um, uh, Google Earth. You can draw a line from the vantage point to Douglas, yes. But we're talking about what you can see allowing for the curve of the Earth. And you cannot see Douglas because it's behind the curve of the Earth. I mean, what's okay. the, how's that going to understand? I, I'm amazed. All right, listen, listen. Let, let, let me speak with Rumpus for a minute. Um, Rumpus, that, la that red line that you've got that's going down on the diagonal that, that I call the tuft of trees, um, a guy, the red line, yeah, can you put your... Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah that, that Sorry, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I call that the tuft of trees, and the guy that lives in Isle of Man says that that's Douglas Head. If if I share my screen, because obviously you can't do the Google, um, the Google yeah. Earth. I'm now looking and, at your. I'm now looking at the um, Hangout screen. Yeah. So, so let me pull that out the way. <clears throat> so this this is what I call Doug, uh, the tuft of trees at the top here, and this is where I call Douglas, and the guy in Isle of Man agrees that that is Douglas and that is indeed <laughs> Douglas head otherwise known as my tuft of trees let's apply what you say and say that this is somewhere else that's Balacanel. Yeah. i can even identify wait 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 rumpus wait listen to the question if we go with whatever you say this is i'm going to look for a reference that's similar to this in relation to the thing that you say that is so if we go with um, Balacanel or whatever you want it to be we're going to look for this in cross okay. relation to it. So let you direct me to where you want me to go. Okay, I'll find out that, what that bump is. Let me just, I, I'm using my little, I can, sh well, I can show you the process I will use here. Um, if I, if you've, can, you, can you see my, um, my screen sharing here? No, I, I want you to talk me through it on Google Earth. Because we can't well, see I can show you the bearing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to acquire a bearing to it. If you watch, if you can see my screen, you can see how I'm going to do this exactly. Um, and then you can tell me whether I'm, this, can, you, can you see my screen? uh i can right okay so here we have my bearing at the can you see this thing at the thing at the bottom with um bearings on it this thing down here can you see this can you see what says 239 240 241 yeah the only thing is though, i don't think the people in chat can see it but it's okay is it too small no no i, I don't mean that i mean i don't think nathan's sharing it well is it, if then i'm not worry about me. i'm speaking don't worry about me no it's okay go on carry on rumpus right um yeah, well, I, I want to show you how to show this, and I'm, obviously, if I can't, if people can't see what I'm doing, that'd be ridiculous. I can show they them how can. to do this. They can. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Honestly, they can see you. Oh, yeah, they can. Okay, You're okay. On okay, all right. Um, right. So here's the bearing from the same bees. Though I must admit, this is the bearing from your first video position, not your second. It'll be close, but it'll be very slightly off because you moved so much. Because this video, this, this picture is clearly from the second video, which is um, from a lot higher and from a lot further to the. Um, along the on the on the path so anyway yeah, it's, but that's about, about, it's about 12 feet in difference rubble. no it's not it's huge i'll not show you later let, let's argue uh, about that later come on let's try right, and stay so on there we are so there is your 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 calling your tuft of trees that is at a bearing of two three nine seven eight so if i go into google earth and i go and look at that i can tell now we should be able to tell you what is there right i've got google earth i've got two three nine seven eight and it's cliffs yeah well, okay that's uh let me just go and there's no trees. This this is where. Ah, well, who's, oh, well, well, I just, who's to say that's trees? I mean, this is just a it's just a blob. No, it's 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 rocks. Yeah, it's rocks. Great. What, okay, well, that's what. Fine. Yeah, so, well, I'm asking you for, to identify the tuft of trees. Well, hold on. You said it was that thing I was pointing the arrow at. You said it was this. Can you see my pointer? Yeah, yeah you're, you're not, not talking across purposes. You, well, like, you are talking about the same thing. You are talking about the same thing, Grumpus. Right, so you're calling that a tuft of trees. I'm saying you couldn't tell that between that and a, a rock. You're calling it a tuft of trees. I'm not. Yeah, and right. He just uses words. Um, he doesn't. He has no definition. He'll just call it trees, and it could be a rock, or it could be. I mean, are you telling me you know you can tell whether that's trees or rock, or you know, okay? You look, look, let's not debate about the description of it. Are we? That, we're both in agreement. You're both there. in agreement. Right. It's the same thing you're looking at. Let's move on. Anyway, so I think it's a bearing of two, three, nine, seven. Eight, and if I go to uh, Google Earth on that, let's get a bearing. I can tell you what that is. Let's get the ruler going, and I go from your second vantage. This time, I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what to. Yes, I'm not quite sure what vantage point to use. It's going to be different because of the error. Uh, okay, we'll try that. Um, so, if I Rumpus, go, the, the bit that you're trying to achieve here is you're trying to find an equal part of trees, clump of trees, because they are trees, because they are Douglas head. But if it's not Douglas head. You do need to find something that resembles a clump of trees. It's not a clump of trees. Right, but it is. It's demonstrably, evidently, and logically and reasonably a set of trees. 
and I, 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 I just beat that 239. Point eight, I've got to say, this is not important what it is. All that matters is that you agree you're looking at the same thing in the composite. That's it. Who cares what's yeah, on top sure. of that lump? Right. It's a lump. Okay, I've now identified that. <laughs> I'll just go on to the right place. Uh, unfortunately, it's very good. Um, this line B three nine point eight. There is right that bump is. I can give it that bump you're looking at is something called. Oh God, I'm just, uh, Right, yeah, I think I've got it. Yeah, and wow, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've got it. Yeah, it's not, it's not trees. It is. I can give you the. I believe it's. Oh, actually, there are trees there. Oh, it is trees. Okay, I can give you, and I can tell you. Yeah, they are trees. Uh, okay, now the location is. Um, just give me this. But it's Does it have a name? The, I can give you the. Um, the lo I can give you, I'll, I'll put the latitude and longitude in the chat. Here's the... Here's Does the it have a name by any chance? Northern, here's the northern and here's the... Westerly. Anyway, I've put the location out so you can put it into Google Earth yourself. <coughs> um, assuming you can do it last time you tried to do that, you didn't manage it very well. But there's the location of those trees. And they're actually um, trees, in fact. For the benefit of the audience, there was a space that was incorrectly placed in the middle. No, I did not. Put stuff. It. I, uh, hold on. No, 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 no. no. Put, Let, I, who cares? This is not important. Have you got those coordinates, Anthony? It's just the... Uh, where's he put them? In the side chat? Uh, in the group chat. Yeah. In the group chat of the... Of the, the hangout. Of the, uh, hangout. Right. Bear they're on me. screen if anyone wants to look them up in the audience. Nathan, I think you'll have to show me next. Yeah, yeah. You just let me know when you're ready. Let so you can. You so someone else can share Google. I was saying, for some reason, I don't. For some reason, it doesn't seem to screen grab. I don't know. It's because my screen's too big or something. But... <laughs> Thank you, Rumpus. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant, right? So in fact, get... they are trees. So, so I thought they were weren't trees, but in fact, they're the trees on top of a um, right. uh, on top of a hill um, in the far distance. Okay. Uh, so I've got my man on screen now. Do we agree that this is the location that you've just given me? Uh, that's fifty four nine six point nine six north, thirty three uh, four degrees thirty three minutes forty seven. Yes, that's correct. All I did was I copied and pasted, stuck them in there, and then clicked. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. So what I'll do is I'll now put a line of sight in because this is what you're identifying as the comparison, and then I'll zoom out, put them over here, and then I'm going to make an assertion that they're going to be blocked completely by rocks. They're blocked completely by rocks, Rumpus. Means that they're not going to be what we're looking at in the evidence. Well, do we um, agree? Well, I've just I've just done it. Um, was it blocked by rocks or not? Well, not on my wall, wasn't it? No. Okay. Mike Jones. While you're doing that, I'll just say a couple of hellos. So we've been joined by Make4 and Mike Jones. Uh, Make4 was in first. If we could just get a quick hello if you've got your mic open. Hey, mate. How you going? Good to have you here. And how are you doing, Mike? Again, if you've got your mic open, Mike. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you here. Well, I haven't... I mean... I haven't so, what's the verdict? They are blocked by rocks. How, yes, but you do realise you can't do that by just following the path. Um, is there any kind of special refraction that can account for us getting up and over the rocks that are in front of us? Quick, well, quick dig out the RC the maths, line. Rumpus. Actually, quick. There is Maybe we're seeing it around the entire trees. circumference of the globe, Rumpus. Maybe it's coming from behind our own arses. Actually, there is another potential candidate oh, on that there's same another line. Potential. You don't sound very certain, Rumpus. This is very... Well, I let, him, let, let him finish a sentence. For He's finished it's it. We've just had line. lots of silence it's while Rumpus puts us to some trees that are blocked by this hill here. 
So, Compass, if it's on that bearing, the absolute furthest point you can see is this ridge because it's blocked by the ridge. So, there has to be a clump of trees on that bearing, and there isn't one. Not a big enough band aid, I'm afraid, Rumpus. That's so, well, Rumpus, your identification is wrong. We are no, not it's right. It's right. It's absolutely it's along that bearing. It's exactly well, I must admit, I have, I say, there might be a couple of tenths of degree out because. I don't even go around this bloody great big hill with a couple of tenths of degrees. What? Are you being ridiculous again, Rumpus? I think you are. Come on, Rumpus. Where, just accept defeat. Be a bit from? more gracious. Come on. Where? Just accept it. That's I'm throwing it from. Another total fail on the globe side. Oh, well. No. How are you doing, Jazaconda? Good to have you here. I can assure you. That's all right. Exactly Rumpus, Rumpus, right. Rumpus, you're done for a bit. Hi, so Jazaconda. Good to have you here. If you have it exactly right, well, hold I mean, on, I've hold on, Anthony. Bearing, hold right. on, I hold on. I am going to introduce him. Looking at yet. Exactly yet, but I've got the okay. bearing right. All right, so this is Hi, Jazaconda. How are you doing? Hi, 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 hi. Can you hear us? I Goodbye, can't Jazaconda. I don't know quite what we... And, uh, Nathan, you, need, you need to look at my screen at this point, Ron. No, I, I can see your screen now, yes. Okay, so this is where one end of it is. There's the campsite, and I mean, you can even have it there. But yeah, the... you've got it. There. Yeah, your 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 thing is there. That's right. It's nearer there, or is it further along to the? No, it's, it definitely no, it's isn't. Further along to the left. It's further along to the left. Your your view. No, it isn't. This is the oh, highest it's... point, and that video is not public. So it's somewhere along here. You can have anywhere along here. Oh, sorry, you're right. Sorry, you are right. Sorry, it is. It is. Yes. Sorry, it's to the left. To the left. Of, yeah, close to where you are. Yeah, that's right. It's close to where you are. Right. right. So on the bearing line that I've drawn the line from, which is the trees that you're asking me to, that you think is the trees that we see. Let's uh, get a, see how far up we are. Where's your bit? Where's the right? Here we go. And where's the so, bearing on you? Now you can it? see the trees in the background there, but bear in well, mind on, I'm where, now. Well, hold on. Where's the bearing? I can't see. Oh, then you. All oh, right. You can't. Yeah. Okay. You've, you've switched off the reel to show the bearing. You, no. You, where's the bearing on this then? Oh, Heading. Sorry. It's, it's down here. Can you see it? Why is it giving a heading of 58.73 degrees? Well, all right, let's go back to the... I'll well, show you what fiddle. I did. Hold on, hold on. I'm joined by Paul. Good to have you, Paul. Yeah, I've got a oh, presentation to make after Rumpus has finished. No problem. Uh, just to, I, can I can just confirm it. I can confirm that it's not it Douglas. To it has to be 30 minutes at least. Yeah, I, I've got, okay. I, I've got a, a, a budding 30 minutes uh, as well Rumpus, as that. Wait. Let's let's finish this point, Rumpus. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's finish this point. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, let me just try and draw mine again on that bearing. Um, so that's all I've done, and you've seen the other side yeah, of it. I will. And when we get down to the observation, well, roughly the observation height, which takes you see, you're not account. staying on. The, I need to follow the line because I picked the first. You see, you're drawing it. I don't understand why you think you're what you think you're doing there. I've just drawn it exactly on the bearing that you gave me. This is the bearing that you gave me. Right. Okay. But so when I follow it backwards. Ah, oh, right. The reason, of course, is that Google thinks you're only that. Right. The reason here is that Google thinks, uh, amazingly, that that high point, which is at 33 meters, um, they think it's only at 16 meters. So that's why they may draw things incorrectly. And also, I know what you've so got the line. You've set the parameter for drawing on the surface, haven't you? Sorry, just you to get another bit of clarity for the audience. So Rumpus is now saying hold that on, Google Google Earth is completely wrong in this respect no, as well. Hold on, listen, Nathan, hold on just, just to give clarity, we've got another Rumpus Google Earth debunking. So it's yeah. not right, drawing no, the land at no, all no, correctly, no, so it's skewing Anthony, up the line the of sight. For the line. Anthony, you've got the setting Superb. for the line. Superb. Rumpus, I love you, my friend. Keep debunking Anthony, Google Earth for us. It's ace. Your um, heading thing, your ruler, as following the surface of the Earth or something. There's a there's a two options for how it follows where you're going, and so, so that's why. You... So it's going to the sea, as you saw. It was going to the sea at the sea level and then coming out. So what 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 what, what um, parameter would you like? I'm not. Let me just. Oh, let me just. Guys, uh, if you could stop interrupting Nathan's interruptions, that would be awesome. Yes, I you. completely agree. Course, Thank you very much, Lottie. So as I was saying, Rumpus is doing an excellent job of debunking Google Earth and showing <laughs> just how found, inaccurate it is. Can you please let him continue to debunk Google Earth thoroughly? I mean, it's amazing, Nathan. You think what I'm doing is debunking. You think because you can draw a line on a plan view Rumpus. of Google Earth, you somehow think just as you could draw a line on Google Earth all the way to the Florida or Rumpus, Rumpus, Garden, Rumpus. you think that invalidates what we're seeing in the picture, how that Rumpus. invalidates. Stay I mean, on topic. Rumpus okay, let's, keep, let's stick to this thing. Yeah, hold on, let me, let me just draw this right. line again. What altitude would you like the line clamp into? Oh, hold because on. At, the observation height is around about 25 feet. It's at, uh, no, 25 meters. Of, uh, um, if you allow for the tide, it becomes 30. 
It's irrelevant to the tide, isn't it, Rumpus? 33. No, because no, because you uh... right. Pick your value. Well, it's about it's thirty. It's about thirty-one meters if you don't allow for the tide. Thirty. Right. 30, 30, thirty-one uh... meters. So now we have the observation height clamped to thirty-one meters. And unless you're going to argue that in the evidence we're looking at these little bits here at the shoreline, which is no, 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 Hold on, let me just look. Then we are not looking at this clump of trees in the background here. Let me just do it again on my bearing. Um, just... Okay, then. Okie dokie. Busy trying to look at your stuff. <coughs> Hold on. Uh, right, let me just draw. So right. whilst Rumpus is doing oh, his math. Okay, right, I've got it here. Right, okay, let me just try this again. Let's see if I've whilst, got... Whilst I'm, I'm drawing the same math. thing. And... He's trying to identify this clump of trees on the horizon, but unfortunately, when he puts his figures in, it's blocked by this rock. And when look, he puts the altitude look, of the line in... You're looking completely the wrong place. But this is where you've told me to look, Rumpus. You've got... No. You you've, gave him the bearing. Look, he put it on the map. You confirmed you've it was got the it, correct you're looking, bearing. You're not then we moved on bearing. and looked at where it was, Rumpus. What's the problem? This is, this is the bearing you gave me, Rumpus. What, I don't understand how you're... Well, you're I it's from. it's you're, very confusing for you, Rumpus. It's amusing for the I'm, audience. It's confusing for you. I'm it's great from, for us. Rumpus. You're doing a great job. This is where I'm coming from, Rumpus. I'm putting it on the point where I was. Oh, actually, for some reason, that seems to have moved. Wait, what? Oh, it's because the, va the elevation height is too low for the land. So that proves that we're not at the elevation that you think we're you at. You are looking at completely the wrong thing. Shout right, out to this Del. You, this you cannot have the best... You must be. I don't understand this. You, and what, that's why you've got this strange value of the bearing is a uh, heading is two hundred and thirty nine point eight from your vantage point. Yet you were showing a value of fifty eight point something. That's because I came backwards from the oh, line. Right. OK, that's true. OK. Right. Well, this time, how about um, you going to St. B's head or the, the where I believe you're standing now, or near the highest point? Let me get this straight. Now, now we're going to change. The, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're now changing the viewer location. You having no, a we're laugh? Not. Well, it's you've just asked him to go well, to St. B's head. Are you having a laugh? No, no, not St. B's head. The bit where we believe you just said, "Can you go to St. B's head?" That's yes. Your, okay, your exact sorry, words. Nathan. I meant the location to be his viewing location at St. B's head. Just a different. Yes, that's what I've just asked place. you to clarify. Are we now going okay. to change the location of viewing point to be St. B's head? Yes, we are. No. Is the answer? No, we're and not. And I'm saying, no, are you having no, a laugh? Why no, are we doing not. this? What's the point? No, we're not. No, we're Good. not. You're damn right. We're not. Right, so um, it's where ne uh, Anthony had the right viewing point, that highest point. Just it was just a little bit off. That is where he he was. And if you take a heading there of two three nine point eight one degrees, you don't end up at those cliffs you were just showing at all. Welcome, Tim Mossman. How you doing, Tim? Sorry, didn't see yep. you coming. Hey, yeah, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say right quickly that um, we're gonna actually. I think Miles is going what tomorrow to this place. I think um, obviously Riley will be going back. So, like I said before, guys, this is one observation that we've spent. Don't snipe him. <sighs> it's really infuriating. Del has tattoos. Don't snipe people. He's got as much right to put his ob objections as anybody. Was that sniping warrior again? I have no idea who's booting him. I think I think he was gonna debunk Google Earth too. <laughs> yeah, he might have done. Exactly P. Could have been doing just as good a job as Rumpus and now he's gone and that's upsetting. Right. You're looking at the wrong thing. I don't know how you're doing it, Anthony, but you're not going to the right place. You're not following a bearing of two three nine point eight one. I don't. Given the fact that I gave you the location, I'm a bit. I don't understand how you've managed to do that. <coughs> how have you managed to do that? Sniper made the thing go scrap. Oh, hold on. Oh. Let me do this again. What is going on here? There was 239.81. Yeah, two, oh, 239.78. Right, can you not snipe Tim Osman this time, please? Can you just let him have his say? Leave him be. Don't snipe him, whoever's in the back chat. 239.78. It's on the same clump of trees, but we're still presented with the same problem. Thank you. 239.81. 
Let's check that. So again. 239.79. Okay, that's what I wanted. Um, 239.79. Right, let's just check where I'm going there again. Ah. Right. Uh, line measure. Okay. Right, save that. Oh, God. Bloody thing. See my bloody screen. Freddy Got Fingered is a really good movie. All right, Rumpus, I've got this lined up exactly the way you asked for it. And I'm going to assert to you that there is no set of trees that we can match at all on the landscape that you're putting, and the landscape doesn't match. Um, well, there is... Oh, God, you've just stopped sharing. You've probably been gone. sniped. Oh, dear. Mike Jones. Cute Yub sniped him. For the love of God. You might want to remove Hugh Yube from the back chat. He was the one that sniped him. I'm not in the back chat. If someone's in the back chat, feel free to remove him. I'm not there. That's why you can't snipe me. I'm in the back chat. Sniping, good. Swearing, bad. Sniping's not good, it's just unavoidable. So someone in the chat said, are oh, we welcomes the snipers? Well, I can't do anything about them. Literally, I can do nothing. It's a Google problem. So may as well say, well, you know, you guys are all welcome to be here. If you want to do that and demonstrate that that happens, I want to put that on air. But it doesn't change the fact that it's extremely irritating when you've got a, you know, a panel full of people People want to hear both sides of the argument. People want, on the Globe side, to see this debunked. And these guys are working extremely hard to debunk it. And, you know, Tim Osman's view is, this is one observation, and he's right. It is just one observation. And that should be heard by the audience. You know, they need to get a handle on what's actually going on. He's got a good point. Why isn't it being heard? It makes me really angry. When Rumpus is finished, I've got a presentation ready to show you that it's not Douglas that you're saying. Welcome to as well. I mean, you might as well go ahead. Well, I, I want to. I want to just pin down some of these numbers and things a bit more. So you might as well go ahead while I um, get some more details on yeah, the. On you the go ahead, Paul. You're, you're on, on, you're on screen. screen. I'm, I'm willing yeah, you to, are. Willing to you go are. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. What what you see on my screen at the moment is a uh, is the composite image. I've enhanced the contrast on it a bit, and I've put a number of vertical lines at a significant number of uh, locations. You, you'll see the uh, locations that I've put the lines on. Uh, let me just get that one back up. Uh, this is a like a um, uh, composite image. I've put lo uh, lines right at the end, at the last bit of land. I've put lines uh, at that house uh, there, that there, which you're calling Douglas, we're calling Bella Canell. I've put lines at that house, that house, and that house, which I have also identified. Uh, I've put line there, which I've identified. There's the Morghold Lighthouse, which I've identified, um, and the various other places along there. I just want to show you a couple of them. Another one of interest is this one up along here, this very distinctive cliff face there. It's, it's, it's very distinctive, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to hide this um, bit, and I'm going to bring up... Um, this, which I will put something else in front of. I've just got to get the right things um, there. Okay, what I've got here is the same composite image, except I've shrunk it down in size and um, uh, put it in front of a thing called Peak Finder. Okay, I've set the elevation height at 70 feet from Peak Finder, and the location that we're observing from is St. Bees up in the corner here. Okay, um, and so I think you can agree that this is lines up fairly well with the peak finder. And what we can do, I can actually go along and uh, identify some various things. I can show in the, in the big version of this, no, I, I've got to get the big version of it, some of the things 
that we notice in here. What I want to pay particular attention to is the other end of the image, starting at that town that we're calling Balacanel and you're calling uh, Douglas. Douglas. And I want to show, yeah, and I want to show some features, okay? So I'm going all the way back to that, that town, this one here, okay? So I'm going to be able, to, I, I want to set it up so that I can switch backwards and forwards between Peak Finder and this image here, okay? So what we're looking at is this town here, which you guys are calling Douglas, we're calling Balacanel, okay? So what I'm gonna do is follow this ridge up. So this ridge goes up here. So you follow that ridge up there, and we're gonna to come to a key feature, which is this part here, right? This dip in the, in the top there, okay? Um, and what I'm going to do now is go back to um, uh, Peak Finder. That dip is that dip there, okay? Uh, so we're going to keep following that ridge up until we get to another dip in, in, uh, in, in the image. So we'll go back to that image now and we'll follow along until we get to another uh, dip in this image. So we follow it along and we get to another dip in the image, which is there, okay? And there we see Morghold Lighthouse. I'll go I'm really, back I'm really sorry to, to do this, Peak Paul. Finder. You, sorry, so, sorry to Morghold do this, Paul. Lighthouse. Sorry, sorry, Paul, sorry to interrupt. I'm what? really sorry. Can you just do it one more time? Just like go through, find the peak, match it, and then go through one more time. I just, just call me stupid. Right from the start or? Yes, please. I'm really sorry to get you to right do it again. Right from the start. Yes, please. Just from, okay. you start matching them up and then I'm just cognitively trying to match it up in my mind as right. you do it. I know you've probably done it okay. so many so, times and it's. I'm so grateful for yeah, what you're doing. You've done, done a lot of hard work, so this, thank you. This is the town that we're calling into question in the image, right? Okay, so I'm going to pay a particular attention to this ridge here, okay? So we're going to follow this ridge up here and identify this dip here, okay? So I'll go back to the actual the actual image and what we'll do is we'll follow that ridge up. So I'm following this ridge here. This is the ridge that goes up the middle here. Okay, so we're following it up until we get to that quite distinctive dip in the top there. And I'll just go back to Peak Finder to show you that dip yet again. That's that first dip there, all right? And it looks very, very similar. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna follow this ridge up until we get to this peak here and stop. So I'll go back to the image and we'll follow this ridge here up further until we get to that next point. So the next point is there. So there's the dip there. So I'll go back to the peak finder to show you how that matches. That's that dip there. And that's where Morghold Lighthouse is under that dip there, okay? So what we can do is we can keep following this ridge up and it should come to Snafel, the highest peak. So Snafel, the highest peak, is there in front of us right now. The top is hidden by clouds. And to the right of that is another peak called the North Barul. So I'll go back to Peak Finder and show you where they are. So we follow it up. There's Snafel. There's the North Barul. Okay. And then from here, we'd expect it to go down. Not only that, but for Moghold Lighthouse, we expect another low ridge down here. I'm going to show you that. Okay, so we go back to here, we go back to Morghold Lighthouse, and you see this low ridge down the bottom here with the houses and stuff on it. That's what we're seeing there. So that matches in nicely as well. So we'll go back, that's Snafel, that's the North Barul, and then we go further along until we gradually go down to the sea, and that's the point which Anthony in his original video called, this is where the end of, uh, the Isle of Man is. And so we keep on going further along. We keep on going further along until we get to this very distinctive cliff here, this very distinctive marking on this cliff here. Um, and in the image, in, in the peak finder, um, in the peak finder, that is off to the right here and you can't see it at the moment. But what I want to do now is go to Google Earth. Right, so I want to go to Google Earth. I want Sorry, to show you. Just before you do, I'm just, a, just, just before you go to Google Earth, Paul, 
I don't, um, that last bit was a bit confusing. So you said it's not there on the peak finder. I'm a bit confused about that. Why isn't it there? The, 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 because I'm not at a high enough elevation at the moment in peak finder. I can do it in a moment, right? So okay, the, no, the no, very no. just before you do, cliff. I just don't want you to go on to Google Earth before that's we've got a mismatch. And I just want you to, if you're saying you have to go higher in elevation to make we it match. We don't have then... a mismatch. It's just not on my image at the moment. This is that very no, distinct. That, that doesn't match here. the image. I've got to get this absolutely tied down because well, there's does. discrepancies between the it two. It does match the image. It's not there. Okay. It Therefore, does it doesn't match. match. The Hold on. It's Hold on. Because I, don't want to, I don't want to have to do this five times with you like every single time, Paul. Right. You've just clearly told us it doesn't match. It's not there. Now, I want to know why. I'll tell you why it's not there, Nathan, because here is the end of the thing called the Isle of Man. That image is out to the side here. That's why it's not that's there. That's not an explanation. It's what are you talking not about? on my monitor you've at just the said, moment. Hold on. Okay? You've just, said that, that, you've just pointed to what's the why. end of the Isle of Are you saying that that is the end of the Isle of Man? No, I'm not saying it's the end. I'm saying that is what Anthony called the end of the Isle of Man so, in hold on. So, so I'm what's, just using so that what's as a that? So what's, no, what's that on Peak Finder? What Why Anthony do you keep arguing with me and talking over me? I'm just asking a simple question. Why do you keep getting really irate with me when okay. I'm just asking a simple question? At the uh, Below on Peak Finder, if you go down with your mouse... Yeah. Keep, well, can you... Could you... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Keep, yes. No, no, you're going right. You seem to be going right now. I said go straight down. You seem to be struggling to listen yep. to the words. Go back to where you were. Straight there down. There you where? go. There you no no no. Now go yeah. down. Straight down. What yep. is that? What's that? That's the part in Anthony's video that he calls the end of the Isle of Man. What's it in Peak it's Finder? Not the end of the Isle of Man. What's it in Peak Finder? The end of the Isle of Man. Yeah, it's not. Okay. What is it? Now this image. Oh, but stop. I keep what? asking you the same question. You keep just jumping your mouse away from it. Keep your mouse where it is and tell me what that is right there. That's the uh, end of the highlands in the northern part of the Isle of Man. Okay. I can show you where that is on Google Earth if you like. So from there I'll on in, in. Hold on. So from there on, everything in the Isle of Man is lower than that point. No. Right. All right, I'll go back hold on, to the image. Hold on, hold on, we're I'll not getting there. Hold the... on, I haven't got to the end. So in Peak Finder, in the view, there yep. is not another image like this matching. I it's will not... show you that in a moment. Well, you don't I need to show it to me. Nathan, We've seen it. I'm not asking you to show me something different, feet, Paul. Hold on, hold on, Paul. I'm not asking you to show me something different. I'm asking you to... Why don't you hold on, Nathan, and let me finish my presentation? No, I'm asking you why there's something missing from your presentation. And I'm not going to let them the presentation, I'm Nathan. Trying it doesn't to explain match. Explain why, Nathan? You're I don't not wanna, listening. So it doesn't. It's not there in Peak Finder, right? And I'm trying to tell you why, but you keep interrupting me. Fine, go ahead. Are you willing to listen? Right. Yeah, I told you at the start. Right. I told you at the start that the elevation in Peak Finder was 70 feet. Anthony is not at 70 feet. What's he, he is at? higher than 70 feet. He's more like 130 feet. The point that I want to make is this part matches up very well. Hold on a second. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, up. hold on. What does the Ordnance Survey map have him at? It has 33 metres at the peak where What's that in feet? Stood. What's that, about 70 feet? No, it's more like 130 feet, Nathan. Okay, fine. Pop in 130 feet if that's what the okay. Ordnance Survey map has. Fine. Right. Yep. So I've identified all of those places. Now, you might want to know, where is Douglas on this peak No, finder? I don't. I've just, so you've gone off point again. Do... No, 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 no. Can you pop in 130 feet what? to this and see if that... I'm land, going to. Appears on that's, the right. that's exactly what I'm about to Brilliant. do. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Finally. That's exactly what I'm about to do. All right. So we go to here, and the next thing up is, if I can get it right, it's pretty sensitive, 130 feet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to reload it for 130 feet. It's just taking a little while. There is the reloaded image for 130 feet. This 
is the place that we identified. Why are you going that, right? That town hold, was on, at hold on, hold on, go, oh, go right, please. Can you go back to what we were actually looking at a moment ago? Yeah, see, there's this the land missing, that you couldn't this see tiny before. little bit of land. Now, can you contrast ah, and compare that to the ah. real image, please? What? In terms of its height, from my vague recollection, the little nose bit that sticks out on the left is approximately the same same height as the nose bit that picks up peaks out on the left the gap in between how, hold on just let me explain my problem the two are roughly the same height in the actual image what no. you've done by adjusting the height up is brought a tiny sliver of land in that's literally well below the line that's drawn above that land of that land so if you can compare and contrast right. that little sliver on the right to what we see on the right in the image please you're dragging it left again you're right. dragging well, it I left again. Do Why'd you do this? Because we keep on losing him. Can you just let me finish no. my presentation? There's a mismatch. Nathan. There's a mismatch in the image, a blatant what, so mismatch. You've had to now adjust the height. And you're getting I angry with me because I'm trying to clarify. The two don't match. This one on the right is considerably lower than what we get in the real image. And you've had to adjust your height to bring it in. So what's the problem? Why can't you just show us that it doesn't match? What's the problem? Why do you keep trying to dance away from this? Why are we being called? I just want Paul to zoom in. Hold on. I want Paul to zoom in on the right hand side. Here we go. Finally. Let's it's have a look, Nathan. How water. high is that land there compared to that land there? It's nowhere both? near the Can same height. We're looking at an empty page. Can you bring them both into frame, please? Huh? Can we present Paul so that we can see him all the time? You have to click on him locally, of Rumpus. Wall of water, you, you have a problem. So, yeah. So, right. can you the bring them both I into frame? Make... Paul, can you bring both of those pieces of land into frame, please? I will in a moment. I Why? Will Why can't you do it now? But this the is the issue that I I've got. The two this images is don't my match. presentation, Nathan Oakley, not yours. <laughs> okay, okay we'll go somewhere else to make it then. You don't have to make it here. Stop proving me wrong in my thousand foot of wall of water. Yeah, I want him to wrong. show the two so images the in the same. Make. They don't match. Quite and he's frankly, trying to dance the, around the it. I don't right see what the problem is. is. Absolutely irrelevant. Why can't you bring that because last third there. of the two Guess images into Douglas shot and show you us? You still can't see Douglas' head from here. Can you? Yeah, but if the other side of the image doesn't match, Paul. Hold on. If the other right. side doesn't line up and match, then we've got a problem, haven't we? I will do that in my own time. Oh, so you just want to right. show the bits yes, that do match? Is. You only want to show the bits no, that right. do match. It's presentation, no, I don't. Yeah, it's I presentations. It's presentations fallacious. If he only shows the bits he wants to show, I'm trying to get him to show the bits that don't match. How, how, uh, Nathan, seriously, I will what would show you, you haven't let him finish his presentation. Shut up, water. Showing I want him to, to show it, and he won't. He's dancing Let's around it. I want him to bring up the last section, the last third of the composite, and Peak you Finder, the last third of Peak Finder, in the he's same shot. There, Nathan, he's getting there. He's Why is he dancing room. around it? He's going to go there. Same right. Okay. Let's see if he goes here there. Here is the lines. Here is the, here is the image lined up again. Here's the main part of the Isle of Man lined up yet again, except this time... I've gone high enough in altitude. I've had to go. You just moved it. You just moved the image. Or you've just I can moved see. it. Hold on. You've just lined Guess it all up what? and shown us. Now you've moved the image. Where You're having a laugh. Head? What kind of a and joke is this? Douglas head? You've just slid it's the main out. image. You've just yeah. slid the main image to make it match. You've just moved it. I've just and watched I you. I will line it. No, and I will line it up again. So you've got to move the All image right, to make it match. It Let's just get this clear for the audience. In order to make I'll these peaks up. line up, Paul's I'll having to move the image. Oh, Nathan. Nathan, You're moving just the image. Let him finish, for Christ's sake. It's not finished. He hasn't got us lined up at composite. He hasn't lined it up at all. He's having to move it on the fly. You're having to move it on the fly. This isn't lined up. You're moving it on the fly. It is just, lined up again, Nathan. Just have some patience. Right. You're going to it's troll me now. Point this out to the audience. You're all going to troll me while I point this out. He said it was all lined up. Yes. He showed us the first half of the image. We've got to a tricky bit. Now he's relining it up. It's lined oh, up again, Nathan. So yeah, because you've moved it. Where's Riley there now? You, you want to tell me you've got it all lined up and then it's move it? This is ridiculous. Again, hey, Nathan, it's lined up again. 
the main part of the Isle of Man is lined up. And guess where Douglas Head is? Douglas Head is right out yeah, But this isn't here, the Nathan. problem part of the image. I've just gone wow. through this with you and you won't do it. You've danced. No, you're trolling me now. I'm not going to let you get away with this, Paul. You won't have to do this. The problem is not this side. You've gone through a whole demonstration. Why is everyone trolling me when I get them appointed? Why is everyone trolling me now? Because you're being You have no point. I do. I'm trying to make it, but everyone's talking over me. Oh, yeah. You know how it is, Nathan, now, right? When someone's trying to do a presentation and you talk over him constantly, yeah, it's infuriating, the problem, yeah, right? Lottie, is that he's done the presentation. Right, so on, hold on. Why are you now trolling me, Paul? He's just asked Let's me a question, Paul. Nathan. Shut up and let me answer I hope Lottie. everybody can see that the main part of the Isle of Man lines up nicely with Peak Finder here. It's right. It's lined up. It's scaled to size. It matches yeah, the contours. I've said this. You've done the left, then the Perfectly. right didn't line up. Then you've moved the image right. to move it and to line guess, it up. And guess where Douglas Head yeah, is? Yeah, I've called you on it. Douglas I've called you Head on it. We've seen this. Right you lined it up on the left. Here. You lined oh, it up oh, on the left, and then wow. I had a problem on the right. Then you adjusted the image. Douglas I'm not going to let you get away with it, Paul. Right you haven't okay. got it lined up. Well, I am. You haven't got it lined up. Nathan. Oh, Douglas you had to move it. Douglas Head is all the way out yeah, here, Yeah, you did Nathan. this. I know, Paul. I conceded what and let you and that? kept quiet while this... you did this. The problem came right. on the right-hand side. That says Douglas Head. The problem's on right. the right. Can... Let me That's why you're now completely here. fixated can... on the left. Like the right -hand side? That's why I when I said I don't drag it left, right you've immediately right dragged side. it left and we're to nothing but focused on the left now. I have to shift the image across because my screen isn't big enough. Oh, no, well, not in a okay. zoom in there's a problem. So just just like do, Rumpus when he's showing refraction that shows you your own ass. Not enough screen to show the what scale. Zoom now. suddenly stops so working when Paul's got a problem. When Paul when can't line the images the up, when the peaks don't line, line up, up, he has up to move the image. You can't line them up. You can't line them up. There you go. I've just seen what's happened, Paul. The audience has seen it. I've Guess seen what? it, everyone's seen it. Oh, you couldn't line them up, here. and you had to move the image. You did it while I, I was talking and you were here. talking, so I no one would notice. Yeah, but I noticed, Paul, get angry. You keep getting angry while me. I point out over and over again line that you had to move the again. image. Nathan. You had to move the image. It After you did the left-hand side, you had to move it. This is a total nonsense. You haven't got it lined up. There is the cliff. Yeah. After you've moved it in amongst the chaos. Right? That He's not there got it lined up. Is the distinctive cliff? He's had to move it. That there, right? This is nonsense. That this is nonsense. You've not got a working model. It's not lined up. You had to move it halfway through the presentation. This is nonsense. <laughs> Where's the thousand okay, wall of water? Oh, now, now everyone's trolling me. With it. Now everyone's trolling me. Bit of the Isle of Man. Yeah. See, Paul hasn't managed to line it up. Air, it did not line up. In order to fudge like that, that he stopped there, and moved it when he was up to the, the tricky time. part that I pointed there. out. And now yeah, everyone's trolling me. Now, now everyone's trolling me. No one wants to hear it. No one wants to hear how Paul's fudged it. We can all watch it. We'll all be going back, Paul, unless someone tries to pawn bomb me to try and hide your hide your glaring deception. That's what you've done. You've moved it because you couldn't line it up. And you'd be able to see, question. The audience can, I, I, the audience I, I, can also I I see that I'm now it. being muted. You couldn't line it up, Paul. You had to move the uh, image. I, I can line it up. I can line it up. So, uh, I, Rumpus, it up, let's just get it clear for the audience while Paul gets I more and more angry. You couldn't line it up, could you, Paul? I'm not angry, Nathan. I'm laughing at how stupid you are. I'm not stupid. I watched you yeah, move the image when you didn't have it lined points. up on the right-hand yes, side. I know what I just watched. Nathan, I've been watching this being done by someone else for days, Paul. Perfectly. I know what's going you on, and I know what your problem is. Nathan, no, I can line up in a way that you might be happy with. Yeah. No, 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 Paul. Thing, you didn't have it lined up. Rumpus is now trying to help you out, right? He's already failed several no, times in this show and been laughed at by me. You've now failed, and you had to move the image when it didn't line up. Everybody can see what's going on here. Yeah, I can see what's going on. I've been watching the same <laughs> stuff happen at my end on someone else's <laughs> screen for days, Nathan, and you haven't managed it. He's tried to get it. around it by being deceptive and moving the image after doing the left-hand side, I, I where he did have it lined up. So he did have it lined up. I kept my no, mouth shut. Yeah, as soon as it stopped point, being lined up, that's when I piped up, and I won't let him get away with it. I won't let him get away with moving the image halfway through his presentation. He doesn't have them lined up. That's the bottom line here. Right. He doesn't yes. have to like this, but I will continually uh, point it out to the audience no. until until he does a full scan without making any adjustments, without having to what, zoom what, out, what, without what, having what, to change the image. 
He hasn't got it lined yeah, up. That's the bottom line here. Yeah, yeah Thousand right. Wall of Water. Right. Yeah, now we get trolled. Yeah. I've made my point. Nathan. Although you've tried to talk all over me, that's absolutely fine. No. I don't care. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> that's what you, that's <laughs> all you guys have got <laughs> when you get it wrong. All you've got when you get it wrong is to troll the living daylights like the person that's pointing it out to you. Such that I've got it all lined up. I don't have to jiggle around with it like he's doing. So if if you can see what I... Well, unfortunately, we're, we're seeing some video here live. And can we not have me presented? No, because I'm being continually trolled and talked over. So I'll present I'm what I'm presenting. I'm going to show you in a way, Nathan, no, you'll be happy. You can talk. That's it. While well, people are attacking me because I'm telling the audience that Paul's been extremely deceptive in his presentation. Well, well, I'm being I trolled to, like you're now doing to me now. Before I get to the end of my sentence, you're all trolling me. And people are joining to mute me. And people will probably try and pawn bomb me because you don't like it. Tough. What do we do? I'm going to point it out until the cow's going home. It doesn't matter. What like you go ahead, Lottie. You've got the mic. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Lottie. Right, can I just... Nathan, if you actually let Paul finish his um, presentation, I understand you have questions. Not questions, issues, no, issues. Me, not not questions. I didn't. Not there was no question about what happened, Lottie. So there was no question about what I saw happen. It's it's Nathan, able to be seen by anybody else in the aftermath. They can go back and look at it. They can go back and look at it. I didn't have a question. I had an issue, and I pointed it out. That's fine, but if you waited till the end of the presentation, that might have been clarified before you interrupted him. So no, he couldn't line it up. That's why he danced around end, it so long. That's why he danced around it, Lottie. Look, Lottie, you don't have to understand what's happening here. The smart people understand what just happened and watched it. You don't have to. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they understand that you're acting like a dick, Nathan. You're better at this trolling than me, Nathan. Nathan, I can present it in a way that you'll yeah. be happy with. Yeah, I'm, I've happy. Got it all I'm now I happy now that Paul shut his mouth and stopped trying to be deceptive for Rumpus to have another go. Okay, yeah. right. so if you... Wow, Nathan, you've sniped you three times so far. Don't worry, Nathan. You can watch it on the video when I make my video about it, and you can take you can. all the time I'm you I'm sure like all six subscribers will get to see it. But, right, but I'm going to try to present you with a video, uh, an image here, and I can't do that unless I'm being presented. If you, you, you'll ahead, be able to, you'll be able you are to see being what I'm presented, doing, and you'll be able to say all of that lines up with that or not. But I can't do that if you if I if people can't you can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, if you just open your ears, you are being presented. Uh, I don't. That's not what's coming through. I'm I'm still seeing Sky on the uh, Hangout screen. Hangout screen is still showing floaty clouds. I keep telling the people in the hangout, don't worry about what I'm doing. You're being All right, presented. Okay, yes, the hangout. Hi, yes, I'm Nathan Oakley, and I'm a piece of shit liar. I'm good for that contribution. Um, yeah, that's why I didn't really right. want to present you, because we're just being trolled to all hell. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think your behaviour towards Paul, they might provoke them to get a bit all agitated. Um, but, but, I mean, I think it's reasonable. Your point, actually, is quite reasonable in the sense, if you see a gross error... I think it's reasonable for people when someone's doing a presentation and you think they've made a gross error to say, oh, hold on, you've just made a gross error. So that's fine, I think, actually, to interrupt the presentation if you think something really horrible is going on. But all all Paul was trying to do was just to, he, because he hadn't scaled things because he couldn't, he has to move things around. So one Sorry, just, just repeat that, please, Rumpus. Because he couldn't scale correct. things, correct? He couldn't scale things, correct? Well, he, he's having to move things they around. Were Sorry, like, he they even said it perfectly. Were, Let's mute Paul me. while Rumpus has some intellectual head. honesty. So You're going to get muted, you lying little. So because he couldn't scale things, he had to mute things. He had to... No. Sorry, mute things. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing. Trying to do two things at once. Right. right. He had right. to move things, correct, Rumpus? He had to but, move yeah, things. Yeah, but... Yeah, but, 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 but Google's got it wrong. He had to move things. So, as Rumpus has intellectually honestly pointed out, when I see a glaring error, you're damn sure I'm going to point it out to the audience. You don't have to like it, Paul, you weasel. Just like soundly. People don't like me calling them weasels and worms. I'll point out your gross error. Right. Rumpus will point it right. out too. Because like I keep telling the people on this side of the fence, I see Rumpus as intellectually honest. Unlike Paul and unlike Soundly, I have a little bit of respect for Rumpus because he's honest. He saw the glaring right. error. I saw no. the glaring error. He's now trying to get around it. I broke my fast, but Nathan, but Nathan even weasels to... and worms oh, no. can point guess. out your idiot. Hey, hey, hey. We've got a new if guest. If you want to move two objects on the screen to make them align again, at one point you move one and then the other. So yeah, that means they don't line up. That means they don't line up, Rumpus. That means they don't line up, do they? 
if he has to he has to translate them. He doesn't like it either. When I've got a point, when I've got them against the on all their toes against the fire, the audience get angry and say he should be a good moderator. It's because they don't understand when I see anyway, not, what, what Rumpus like calls so a gross so error. Really when I see that. the same gross error, I point it out and hold Paul's toes to the fire till he squirms like a worm. That's what I do. The audience love right. that. They love it. Okay. They love Paul, the physicist, being humiliated by the Tesco van driver. They think it's hysterical. Right. But the point was he had to move two objects and he couldn't move them both at the same time. Therefore, he had to move them individually. Therefore, right. They didn't line up. Exactly my point. Thank you, Rumpus. That's well put. That happened. Well anyway, put. I, That's I not all that happened. That's the gross error I pointed out to the audience. It's not all that happened. Let's not. Right, like, I'll okay, start calling well, you a worm I, in a minute, I Rumpus, if you say you things all, like that's all that around. happened. The point is they've got to line up. They don't. He couldn't. He tried to Nathan, worm his way out of it because it's a worm. Taking all of my argument tactics, really good hey, stuff. Hey, 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 Lou, good to have you. You're gonna just jump right. in and get your little words in, like a little worm. Okay. Right, can I can I do this, please? Right, so here I have the um, image that um, uh, has been provided with. Now, the first thing you've got to notice about this image is actually I, I've corrected two errors in it up to this point, but you'll notice that the sea level starts to go at an angle here, which slightly compromises what I'm about to do. And you can see, unfortunately, it seems that not, uh, Ranty can't, doesn't know that the sea is level. So although he's composed actually quite well for the first half, from this onwards, he's introduced an angled sea, which does slightly screw up the alignment, which is probably what Nathan's going to complain about in a minute. It's only slight. But here we have the image, and I've identified it, and I've got the oh, bearings. Oh, God. Points. Are and we I really going to sit you. through this after that disclaimer? Are you really going to disclaim right. it and then make us well, sit well, through it? Well, OK, well, we'll see whether you'll do No, 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 no. So You've already disclaimed right, it. I You've also already uh, disclaimed that you can't yeah. line it up. Oh. I'm not going to present you. You've already given me a disclaimer that makes me want to... Well, OK, I won't take the disclaimer then. Just... So I've just heard it. You want to just... You want to backtrack? It's recorded. No, I'm not going to backtrack on anything. Good. I'm, are you going to let people see this or not? No. You've just made the disclaimer that it doesn't line up. Well, then well, you can make a decision. I'll show you, and then you can then No, you can you've just told us, because you're intellectually honest, it's your worst weakness, Rumpus. You've already told the audience the problem. You, you, you agree that this image has got a bent C on it, do you? You don't need you to see, see any of it, Rumpus. You've just told me it don't line up. You can already well, go to the maths first, to explain well, it afterwards. You've it already given the up. disclaimer. I don't need the explanation for why what you're about to show me doesn't line up with maths before you've even bloody shown no, it. Not maths. Paul's no, not tried. Maths. You've tried, no. but you've tried to get a disclaimer past me before you've even opened your mouth. He, does, he doesn't need your disclaimer. Uh, no, he's I'm given it. I didn't give the disclaimer. I'm making no apologies, you moron. Yeah, okay. Drop again like a little... Little worm. Yeah, the there we go. Off he goes. Good boy. I'll take the disclaimer back. No doggy biscuit for you this time, Lou. I'll take the disclaimer back. I'll just You can judge it yourself. We can all judge, see what I'm about to learn, whether it's valid or not. But they won't, but you won't be able to see it if you don't... Rumpus, there's no need to be polite to Nathan. He's not polite to you. He doesn't care about you. Paul's presentation nah. was perfect. Perfect. He's a sniveling worm. Why did you just mute me, Lewis? Because he's a moron, and he tried to mute me. Oh right, yeah, you missed you, you, yeah, you, you muted me for some reason, Lewis. <laughs> um, yeah, I, well, I've got an image here that people can look at, which shows the alignment, and it does it rather more effectively than. Um, uh, well. Rumpus, I muted you so that everyone in the audience could hear me when I talk. I intentionally muted you because you were making noise. Um, you're you're right in your presentation. You're a hundred percent right, Rumpus. But Nathan doesn't care, and he's going to continue to humiliate you in the eyes of the audience. That's why I muted you, so that I could get my words in, which are important and pungent. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> Louis. Um, I, I think the audience will draw their own conclusion, even those who might be pro flat earth, what's going on here. The fact that he's not allowing me to show the image that I've got to overlay precisely with transparency, which is not what Paul's got. So I don't have to, and I've also scaled it correctly so that I don't have to jiggle with things and I can present it sort of more effectively but there is an if, if you okay, do look at the people who can see the image and remember no, no, what it was ahead, unfortunately you're on screen right you has ahead. aligned the c so it gets, starts to go upwards in the on yeah. on the image i've thought about correcting it myself but you know i really shouldn't have to so I'm, i was going to go you know it's going to take quite a bit of time for me to recompose the image that ran ran um, ranch's provided us with but unfortunately it's got a sort of it's the c slope as it goes to the right hand side size slope up which slightly affects the accuracy that was all i was saying that ranch's made a slight error that's all I mean, you presumably spotted that, did you, Paul? The fact that the C slopes up at the right-hand side. Paul, are you there? To find the clump of trees that don't go Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm there. 
Can you can you see this, the way this, the, the the sea slopes up on the right hand side? I've got uh, yes, some of the people back yeah, that were so sniped on Skype now. So who have we got on Skype? Sorry, guys, just to introduce yeah. you to some of the people who've been sniped out of the call. Who's in Skype? Yeah, well, I, by the way, Hello, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, uh, how are you doing, Nathan, guys? I ejected yeah. one of the They're snipers. everybody at the moment, it looks like. Yeah, I, I don't want to bring this any more time. It's just boring. This debate to continue. Strange. You well, can troll the hell out of Rumpus like they troll the hell out of me. That will show exactly the point. The yeah, point. I don't know why we're bothering to be here, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's getting to the point, isn't it? Well, you've lied, about, Bye, Paul. You've lied about everything so far. You can't yeah. take anything he says. You don't like his toes being held to the fire, Paul. You don't like it at all. His height, his you, don't like, his you don't like me holding your toes to the from. fire. I enjoyed it, though. I really enjoyed it, Paul. Well, that's very childish of you. Though. Yeah, I know. That's what the audience want, though. That's what it's all about entertainment. Well, okay, but <laughs> you being, you being childish is being entertainment. I, I mean, the more Rumpus, you behave yeah. like you this, the less that credibility you have. You well, not having in the first place, but, but even less. I mean, even the pro, even the pro flat earthers will be thinking you're behaving in a rather childish manner here. They would, they would like to see my image. I'm sure. Well, I'm reasonably sure they would like to see me image and see that you then dismantle it or be dissected or Anthony Hammer or something. I've been on screen for about five minutes. Have I? Yeah. Oh. I keep telling you. Oh, you're absolutely right. Sorry, I take that all back then, Nathan. <laughs> right. Okay. So, Rumpus, um, where's that clump of trees? Right. I, I'll, I'll go back to that. Uh, <laughs> I was going on to this this overlaying of the say, the peak finder. So here we have um, uh, um, Ranty's image um, going off to the left here, and I've got my bearings along the bottom here, so I can identify any bearing on here uh, uh, on the island. And as you can see, I believe that the island, the image here ends at about two, three, seven. Point two is where the left hand edge of the island is. And as um, Paul correctly identified, that does not include Douglas. And on the right hand side, and I've even included the lighthouse that Anthony wanted over here. I've actually, oh, bloody hell, I've moved it. Oh, damn it. It's uh, the lot. I moved that. I put it on. I've moved the image subsequently. The lighthouse is actually here at just under 261. Uh, if you can see my pointer is this is the right hand composite image um that Rant is and the lighthouse that he's at uh, this airy lighthouse which uh, i'll show down here i've got um on the page the one that yeah i got it at about two, i got it at about 261 degrees Rampus. yeah great exactly right well done well done paul um so that's over here that's on, on the on this image so in here now i'm going to put now i'm going to overlay what uh, paul did an overlay peak finder and I, i've done it transparently and you can see now I'll change the transparency of this so that you can see um, going from one to the other. I'll zoom. I'll zoom into one. Now you can see. Unfortunately, this is the thing that um, uh, that happens on the left-hand side. Peak Finder and this absolutely agree. You can here's the Peak Finder overlay. I'll just change the transparency so you can see it. You just select it. Hopefully, get that right. And if I make it right, so there's the original image, and here's Peak Finder coming in, and you can see that it's perfect. And but unfortunately, as you go to the right hand side, because the as you can see, the sea starts to slope upwards because rant is missing. As you can see here, if I draw a horizontal line, no, it's line got nothing here, to do with ranty. Ranty can't change the sea. Well, uh, well, he's missing, yes, but he can change how he's aligning these things. And he's no, we can't. It's got he to be something to do with the lens. He's miscomposed, <laughs> he's miscomposed the, the no, he image hasn't. because on the left hand side, he's got it right. The, the it's no, horizontal. No, 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 no. It's something to do with the opticals of the lens. Rumpus, it's not to do Rumpus, with don't take, don't take any notice of the rumpus. Just keep going. They're trolling. Right, okay. So, so the point is, on the left-hand side, it's fine. And on the right-hand side, he's, he's just not aligned the bits correctly and he's generated a cumulative error. So, unfortunately, we've got this ray, this point here, this yeah. C over here, is well above this C over here. Yeah. But if we just ignore that for the moment and say, I mean, he's actually done a good job. I have to say that up to this point here, he's made two small errors up to uh, 247 degrees. But prior to that, he's actually got it. He's done a good job. Yeah. It all don't, lines, don't worry about the errors. Right, it's to show them that it's yeah. not Douglas. So, so let's get this peak. Yes. Yeah, so that and that shows it's, it's not Douglas. And so where, where's my uh, bring back my um, uh, uh, the peak finder. Uh, oh, I'm, I, I, ch I changed the transparency on it. Damn it. There we go. And so here's peak finder. And you can, um, and there's where it puts the mount. I must admit, I didn't put in the bit where it says Douglas Head, but you can see where the mount is here. And Douglas Head, as, as you saw where um, Paul's showing, is actually way over here. 
But that please, is the mouth. Please, going can you to zoom in? Now, on the uh, right hand side, mound. you can sorry, see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm really sorry to interrupt. I'm not trolling you. I promise. Okay. Please, can you zoom in? That was the contentious part that started this all. So, please, could you just go back to the what we'll call the lump or mound or trees or whatever you want to call oh, it? Oh, the, the tree thing is here. That just, was the, just the, zoom, uh, just zoom that, in on it. I think that was this thing here. The, this is the thing we started with, and we're trying to identify in the first instance. So, oh no, sorry, it was this yeah. thing here. Sorry, that's where it was. It's this, this thing. Nathan, here. if you could just, just really, I'm really sorry, Nathan. If you could just stop being a flaming faggot. Right. So there is the what's good what's suggestion called suggestion by Louis there. What was called the clump of tree? What what um Anthony calls the clump of trees, and I'm saying is I'm not. Quite, I think I believe there are some trees on that line, but there's also a hill a hill there as well. And that no, is there tree. are no trees on that line, and they are blocked by a ravine. Really? No, Why no, are we not. arguing about a clump of trees when the rest of the profile of the mountain... Exactly. Why, yeah, so why, you, why, why are we ignoring the very point contentious agree. point that we just went over? Point. Let's just clarify this for Paul. So, Rumpus asserted that that mound was some trees. Then we were... No, I didn't, take, I hold said, on. I said it then we were taken I, to it, and it is blocked by no, a point N of Nathan, land. Nathan, Nathan, you're a flaming faggot. Calm down. I, I've gone through on um, the so Google. Let the audience know you are welcome to join with your opinions of me. Some That's reason, perfectly Nate, acceptable. Anthony's got it. Well, he's showing pictures of round Douglas over here, and it does not in any way correlate to the. Um, he's he's drawing a different line of sight. I don't understand like what he's doing, yeah. but he's got it wrong. In other words, Riley's lying again. I, no, I don't think he's right. No, no, he's yeah. just merely incompetent. Riley's lining up on the Google Maps, and it's lining up with anyway, Douglas. Anyway, so the head. point is, as Paul said, this yeah. totally agrees with Peak Finder, this lying. image, from this view. No, it's not Douglas. I don't no. think. I think he thinks he does. The I tough of trees is Douglas. So, head. and this Peak Finder, uh, let's give him that transparency again. Um, so if we put that on, and, then, and you can notice how the Peak Finder angles here, 240, actually, mine, they're slightly off with mine, actually. Um... Okay, that's annoying. It's off by a few degrees there, by a tenth of a degree. Their 245 and my 245 is off by a tenth. Okay, so we're not completely in agreement, but close enough. Um, mm, yeah, I disagree. If it doesn't line up, it doesn't line up. This is the problem. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're off by... Oh, point, really? The profile, we're off by one of a degree. Sorry, Paul, can you not troll Rumpus while he tells us yeah, that, that we're off? Hold on, let's image. just hear Rumpus confess... Well, it's off by point one of a degree, which is very small. It's with, with, certainly with an acceptable degree of accuracy. And don't forget, I'm using here Rantis Composite Image to create my angles. So yeah, the fact Rantis, that I'm... Rantis oh, and also, concave water, also there's and another point, actually, that with the lens. This, angle, this uh, peak finder was taken from the for the first video position that um, Anthony has, whereas the uh, my angle... So these angles I've got is for the first video position, and the uh, peak finder here is from St. B's Head. So there's going to be a slight difference... Uh, between those two. Okay, so Rumpus, you happen. keep saying that it's my composite that seems to be incorrect. So why are you still using it? Why don't you put the composite together? You have the video. Do why that. don't you do it? I was going to do that because I've getting, I, I was found going two to errors. Do that. Well, your... instead of slagging it Seriously, off, I suggest you get yourself purpose. down and do it. it. Within Make the composite yourself oh, and it. then do it and edit it yourself. Not. Yeah, well said, Rumpus. I... Right, I, I will do that, but I, I but actually you did a good what I appear to appears to believe, except until two four five near the lighthouse, you make a slight error and you make another slight error. Sorry, sorry, Rumpus, one more mute. Ranty, I know that making that composite was like the hardest thing on a computer you've ever done. So I mean don't feel bad that Rumpus here no, can it do takes time a hundred uh, times Lewis. more than you, okay? Don't feel bad. And first Lewis, of all, if he did put time. a together a composite, you, just you probably would say, Oh, there's no way we can trust it. There's no way. Lewis, shut up. Okay, there you go. Right. Oh, so the, Anthony, you're a flaming faggot too. Right. So the point is that the peak finder and my angles agree to point one of a degree, and that may be accounted for by the fact they're taking a view from St. B's, and there's an issue with the photograph position um, of, of Anthony having moved about, I think it's about 100 meters or so, or 200 meters to change angle by that. So those two factors may account for the difference between the peak finder angle and mine of just point one of a degree. Otherwise, it completely agrees. And as you go over here, now, that unfortunately, because Rant has got his C coming up here, you can see that the peak finder and the um, uh, and and the, and the composite disagree slightly, but just simply because the C, C, C starts opening up. And you can see if you go over here, the image here again uh, on um, a peak finder actually gives us this is the same thing that um, Paul found here. And if you then go to the angle where, so that, given that this now agrees with me, and we know that the Hold bearing. On. Where's, where's the, the heading, island? Where's, where Sorry? is it on peak finder? There's nothing there. Uh, the peak, 
You can't. Yeah, but unfortunately, I, did, I put that in a slightly lower. Uh, 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 right, but it Hold comes on. Are down we now going to just do exactly what Paul's done? <laughs> okay, Are you well, having well, me here on? We go. Here's the, here's the, here's the music. So are you are you literally going to do exactly the same as Paul? No, here we go. Here's the peak finder bump here, but because Ranty has not got the sea level, it appears here and not there. But you can see it's no, there. No, that's but, completely but, wrong. What the hell are you on about? Right. Can that's you not see? Wrong. Look, Jesus Christ! I drew a line here. Can you not see? I'm totally retarded, Nathan. Horizontal line. Right. Let, let me address that comment. Your comment was wrong. Oh, Run. Let go ahead, Rumpus. Anthony. Can you no, no, see this sea line here? It he goes vertically, goes diagonally, and that makes the, wrong, that makes the land move left. That is preposterous. Ranty hasn't got the sea wrong. It's a lensing effect. It's obvious it's something to do with the camera. Oh, and secondly, yeah. it can't make the land move really? left. You really yeah. think the sea goes diagonally, do you? Look, it's it's a, a lensing effect <laughs> taken by the camera. It's nothing Paul to do asked with a Ranty. very important question just oh, a moment and ago. Even if it Both, was wrong, it wouldn't Ranty, make the land move Riley, left. And Nathan are all retarded, okay? It really is that wouldn't simple. make the land move right. left. Rumpus. And so, right, hold on. Just look, my final point is that because the angles are my angles and peak viewer angles agree to within 0.1 degree, we know for a fact that the lighthouse is just no, over Rumpus, here, which got that wrong. pointer will be just would appear just there. And it, uh, peak finder agrees with this bump here being part of the Isle of Man. It agrees with all no. my angles. It agrees. No, it doesn't. With no, it doesn't. For the it's not lined up on peak finder, Rumpus. It is lined up on peak finder. That's what you can see here. It isn't. The I've, it I've isn't. overlaid the peak finder image. We've just seen that it isn't. We've just seen that it up. isn't. So is the audience. Why are you doing it? I don't get it. He's, he's blaming like, so Ranty for it, but it doesn't line up. It's got nothing line to do up, with Ranty. Does it, Rumpus? It, it does. It lines up perfectly on to it the does. left. On the left! <laughs> Thank you. Yes. And at the point <sighs> where Ranty Finally, so we're at the same bloody stage we were at with, with Paul, with Rumpus. Unbelievable. I said I didn't want to present this crap twice, and we have... Same exact you crap. Think it's 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 is the town you call Douglas really Douglas, or is it Bell Yeah, I think everybody's got something to bring to this conversation, right, Paul. And the thing you should bring is silence. I can't believe that you're saying you've got we've got Ranty's angled C here, and you're saying, oh, therefore, peak. No, it isn't they Ranty's angled C. Oh, oh, stop being sorry, dishonest. They don't, they don't care care about about the effect by the camera. But if you look at Rumpus's projection here on his screen. You can tell that the pictures are being angled up because the bottoms of them don't line up. Like you can tell. Like there's a really simple way to tell that the pictures aren't lined up. Exactly. So ranty, I mean, this is the hardest thing you ever did on a computer and you didn't even fucking do it right. Have a nice day, faggots. Nathan's yeah, being dishonest again. Rumpus, no, I think we, again. Louis, I think we could do without the 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 uh, the, the abuse there. Right. Rumpus. Anyway, the point is, you can clearly see that Rant is... I mean, he's done a good job for half the thing, but he's done not such a good job for the right-hand side. But that's why... Rumpus. There's a difference between no, 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 Rumpus. Oh, that is not much. down to Ranty, and it doesn't make the land move left. It doesn't line no, it doesn't, up. It doesn't right. make the land move left. He hasn't even got an idea what he's looking at. Absolutely has, right. he looked, has he cared to look at Google Earth? Has he actually looked at the terrain? Yeah, this matches this, the peak finder here. No, it doesn't. Google Earth. Rumpus, that's the point. Well, of course, Google, Google Earth has the problem. You can't zoom in. You have to go close to it, which right. means, of course, you can you let me you can you share my screen, please, Nathan? Compromise. Yeah, Nathan. Let's give Ranty a chance to explain because then two. Okay, okay, go ahead. Give right. me a second. I'll just uh, share with everybody. Bear with me. I think it's fair that Ranty gets a right to respond to his bendy C yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, which is yeah. clearly something to do with the camera. <laughs> okay, uh, can you let me know when we're sharing, Nathan? Yeah, yeah, just give me a minute. <laughs> you can just tell these guys yeah, don't do any research of their own. They're so stupid. Ranty, you've There's demonstrated no need your for the idiocy. Ad -homs. Ad -homs. Come on, on. on many occasions. You've demonstrated your idiocy right, over and over again. I've just listened to a guy. Before you even started, you've triggered them all, Ranty. When he didn't even look at Google Earth. I didn't even look at Google Earth. What's the Just waiting for this. Skype to load and then I'll transition across so the audience can see it. But from my end, it's just loading and loading. Ranty, you've demonstrated your incompetence and ineptitude repeatedly. Can so stop? I think we might have to restart the call. Can we just get through this? Right. Yeah. So, Ranty, can you just stop screen sharing and start again, please? Uh, if right, you have okay, the seat sloping at five or ten like degrees, you know now. you've done something wrong. Yes, we are. Bear with me. I'll just transition to the audience and then I'll let you know. Okay. Okay, so I'm sharing screens now, am I? Yes. Yeah, we can see it. Okay, so do you see this 
this line here that's obviously this is a direct line to the island. Can you see the right hand side of the island? Can you see what the terrain the, and the sea actually looks like it's rising up? Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. simply because this is further up. Can you see how it ravines and goes around? Garbage. Can you see this area? Can you see that? Yes, but okay. that's got nothing to do with the fact you've got a right an angle. Yes, that's illusion. Can yes, you if see? you look at a coastline, of course that can go up and down. But we're looking at sea, let sea going up at an angle. Where's the sea? <clears throat> but is that sea so going up? Does it look irrelevant. like the sea is going because it's further away? Can you see? Yes, you're understanding perspective. Well done. Yes, but the point well, is, in your image, you, you have pure sea, so, and anyway, that's so going up at so, an angle. That's that's just that's just shit all over your argument, hasn't it? No, it hasn't. You don't <laughs> swear. No swear. Well, you've got pure right, so sea. Anyway, you're going to do a composite of your own, are you? I'm wait. I'd, I'd, I'm looking forward to seeing your composite. Please have it done for well, tomorrow. Uh, do you understand that C is no, 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 no. You where you've say got you'd have a composite, C, I can would be you better than mine. I'm waiting to see you that. understand that but where you have you see, lands coming can in Can you see how this looks higher? Can you see how this looks higher than this? When you look at an image of, sort of coastline, it's not going to be horizontal. Absolutely correct. So you've got that. So you understand that. But when you're looking at C, that is going to be horizontal if you've allied the camera horizontally. And you've got pure C. If it isn't for some reason. Have you just admitted there's no curve on the sea? Is that what you just said? At the resolution you're dealing with, and you magnify no, it, you, you cannot no see curve, curve, the curve across the line of sight. Do you understand? <laughs> do you understand that you can see um, a, the curve of the Earth when you're looking along the line of sight, but across the line of sight, you've only got a field of view. Even if you, with your own eyes, with your field of view about uh, 40, uh, 90 okay. degrees or so, you're Does only going to get a six feet difference. At six feet right, difference. I really doesn't end. understand that. He did a video where he claimed that the curve, the drop, should be eighty feet left to right, and it really only should have been one pixel width on the screen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't understand this going across. The difference between going across the line Honestly, and going understand. along the line of sight. Yeah. Yeah. So across the, when you're looking, particularly when you're magnifying to this level, where your light, your field of view in your camera is only a few tenths rumpus, of the degree. Rumpus, not being polite to these people would go a long way. Yeah, well, I, well, I, <laughs> but so when you have an angle that with highly magnified, the C has okay. got even less curvature when you're looking closely across your line of sight. What, so what you part of, what to part of the, is this? Is this the Isle of Man here? Uh, we can't see what you're doing. Yes, correct. Oh, you can't see my screen. Yes, we can see it. Yeah, yeah, we can see it now. All right. Is this is this the Isle of Man? Correct. And I can even tell you the bearing of it if you like. Okay. Uh, that particular fit on mine is a has a bearing of two five two, and as agreed with Peak Finder, Peak Finder and I both say that that is at two five two point one. From Ramsey, the, I don't, I don't uh, know if you saw the start of this point. hangout, but um, Paul know. tried. Paul tried to show how the right hand side of the image, which is where you're coming up to now, he tried to show that that basically he tried to hide that it didn't line up on Peak Finder. Nathan, uh, no, Nathan I didn't tried try to bring to him back I, onto you're it. Lying, I did not no. try and hide it at all. He yeah, did. I watched it. You did. You did try hiding it. You're being you did. Asked you to no, go right. Did not try and hide anything, Anthony. Yeah, he did. Paul, that's why you have to move the image, as you always do, Paul. That's why you well, move Paul, the image. your voice changes destroyed your voice. Turn off your voice changer. Oh yeah, I remember that. I don't understand why people have such difficulty. Paul had to move two things. He moved one thing and then the other thing, and in between moving, Which means they don't line up. That's the, that's the problem. When he finished, that's, that's the problem. That's the problem. Rumpus, rumpus, they're retarded. Stop coddling them. <laughs> they're retarded. Well, they right. explain it in very clear terms, they're then we can't get wrong. Charles so being trolled the by show. somebody who can't stop swearing. So you're welcome back next time, Lou. All you're doing is disrupting because I just have to keep trying to boot you out because just don't swear. Sorry. I mean, you can come and do what you like, but you've already sworn. I've already booted you. Now you just keep rejoining with socks. And eventually you'll just be like Green V kicked out every time you come, come in, in and you'll never get to speak here. Oh, Nathan, Nathan, fuck your rules. Fuck you, fuck your rules. God, I like Louis is getting... I, Just I, Lewis, he can't help himself. Calm, calm down, Louis. We, we, I, we, I think Nathan's doing a very fine job of presenting himself as we would wish him to be presented himself. As so an idiot. We don't need to as do an unfair, work. biased, rude. He's, he's no, 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 Nathan's pointing out that you're not getting Rumpus, things lined up. You're an idiot. He sucks at presenting everything. Exactly, Rumpus. exactly. And that's made clear. <laughs> Yeah, it's obvious. said it about three or four times. Thank out. God for Rumpus but being Nathan... here. Thank God for Rumpus and his intellectual honesty. He's admitted it several times. They don't line up. That's and then he's gone on to disclaim the changes that have to be made. So it's clear. No, what's he, happening. No, 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 Nathan. Let me quickly explain what happened. He adjusted it, which that made it. That's all you need. That's all you need, Lottie. He adjusted it. 
Correct. Yeah. End of sentence. Thank you for giving that clarity for the fourth time to the audience, Lottie. Rumpus. Finally, you have caught up. Yeah, Nathan, that is all you need because they weren't aligned in the first place, so we need to adjust them. Rumpus, can I ask you to and then show, conclude the point on the tough to trees? Because we right, haven't okay, got a conclusion on that yet, I and mean, I don't think we should right, move okay, from I, it until I we do. I was just doing a screen grab of that, actually. Tough to trees is irrelevant. Really. I mean, it's, in, the grand, in the grand scheme of things, um, as, as profile a profile of the mountain matches, it's not Douglas. Yeah. Anthony, but, I don't think we should move off the fact that you're a fucking lying cunt. <laughs> Terrible. You're hot, Anthony. Sorry, Charles Manson, there's no murdering on this show. Um, so you, you're welcome to come back next show, though. Thank you. The thing is, Paul, whether you agree or disagree, if that tuft of trees is in fact Douglas Head the way I assert it is, and it's it does match. It's irrelevant. Then, unless you can come up with a, sub, a suit a I murder who I like when, when I Douglas like. Head. We can live there. And it's not Douglas. Yeah, but I I'm asking you to Douglas prove head. what it is. And at the minute, the, the suggestion on the table is blocked I by rock. That was yeah. Balakanel is sat in a ravine, us. Paul. You can't see it. Peak Finder agrees with us. Yeah, but you, you calling it a tuft of trees. I mean, I, so far, I think it's, it's a hill, which seems to have, uh, there seems to be a hill in the right place with trees on it. So it could be, as far as I'm concerned, well, I'm not from Douglas to, to, to say exactly what it is, that it's, but it's, it's definitely something. So, and I assert that Balakanel is sat in a ravine and cannot be seen by the rocks in front of it. No, There's the three buildings right. on the hill. Lexi There's the three buildings on the hill. I can even identify the house. Carry on, Ramsey, we can hear you. I Sorry? can identify that house. Carry so on, Nancy. We can hear you above them. Okay. See that? Well, there's the three that, buildings that? on the hill. See that? Yeah. They're just in. They're, they're actually just uh, above Douglas. Oh, no, no. They're Ranty, the, there's the actual Douglas head on the, don't, the, don't the trees. Don't ever you can carry on. Go back to the trees and show the trees. The, the trees are on the Douglas head here, which is this part here. Trees are irrelevant. The, the, no, the, no, no. Well, the thing no, is, not, Paul, it's not there's three buildings. What it is. You also have and a you're village here. Few trees. What an idiot! You have a village here and a village here. And you also matches, have a line of sight to part of Douglas, which is here. These buildings here, and they all line up perfectly with the image here. Again, going back to this contrast six. There's the two villages. One village, two village, and the top part of that is actually inside Douglas on the yeah, town. Yeah, I agree with that. I yeah. agree. There's there's uh, Douglas head, and there's house three buildings that at the oh that white blob in the middle. I can even tell you exactly. I can give go to give your Google Earth reference of where that where that house is and Street View as well. Yeah, but Rumpus, you can't identify that clump of trees. Rumpus, I can give you. I you can give you the exact coordinates Rumpus, of that house. R Rumpus, listen to me. Relative to the houses that you claim that you can identify, you can't identify a relevant clump of trees. That's the problem. Uh, well. The tuft of trees really, is irrelevant when the rest of the profile of the entire island. Well, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to yeah. Rumpus. Right, right. The, the, the problem I have. I don't care whether you're talking to me or not. The tuft you need of trees, a set of trees is Rumpus, irrelevant. that are next to and relative in proximity to the buildings that you claim they are. So you even if you can identify a particular building, I'll give you that. But what I want you to show me is the proximity of a set of trees that we, that I can do and you don't appear to be able to do. Uh, right. First of all, I do. There's not enough resolution in the photograph to determine what exactly that is. It's just a dark area that peaks, and I have found something in line with it that does so. So whether they are the other trees or not, I can't be sure. So well, well, you I had a guy the guy that lives there that, that actually that, says that, that, that this is Douglas Head. The guy came on from the Isle of Man and he said, yeah, "I live wrong. in this place and I know that he's for wrong. a fact to be he's Douglas wrong. Head." Oh, yeah, he's absolutely one hundred percent right. wrong. Cool. Peak Finder and I he, agree. Hang on, wait a minute. He he lives there. Exactly yeah. where it is. And I've, and I've identified that house that you're looking at, and I can give you the coordinates. Where, where do you live, it. Rumpus? Sorry? Whereabouts do you live? Do you, do you live in the Isle of Man? No, I don't. But, I, I, but okay. I, I'm, I've been analysing pictures, and I don't need to live anywhere in particular. You know, Randy, that anecdotal evidence isn't worth it. Yeah, but I, hang I on. Can Rumpus, place Rumpus, my point still there. stands, Rumpus. If you're saying that the buildings are somewhere else other than Douglas, I want you to show a close proximal relationship to the clump of trees. You can't do that at the moment, so can you stay, stay well, on, tra on topic so what, what, what do you and to show do? me a I, clump I, I, of trees I, I, relative to... I, I, I the, would you like relevant. the coordinates of that house? The rest of the island profile matches perfectly. Right, exactly. what I'm going to do, Ranty, I'm going to knock you Did off you screen show. Did you hear that? Total dishonesty from Paul. He just said it matches perfectly. That's what he no, just said. No, it doesn't said. match. There is no trees there Sorry, for Paul. cross-reference. Why are you literally what? lying? Right. <laughs> No response. Silence from the troll that is Paul Voigt. It matches. 
God. Right, I flicked over onto my screen. Hopefully, Nathan can see my screen now. Uh, yeah, he can. Great. So, because Rumpus isn't ad- uh, acknowledging this issue, I'm going to do it for him, and then he can show me why I've got it wrong. So, the point that I'm making is that there's a set of trees, a clump of trees in the um, in the footage. Just w- wait while this motorbike goes past. But, well, I, let's right. say, I can find some trees on that line, on that bearing. Just, I, just hang on a sec. Let, let, let Nathan put bearing. it back on the screen. All right, okay. So now, we, now we're seeing on screen. We have this town that we believe is Douglas, but they say it's not. But relative to the town, and that's the point, relative to the town, we see a clump of trees on the horizon, and we see the three dots that are on the left. Now, Ranty has correctly, in my opinion, identified what they are. But what Paul's assertion and what Rumpus's assertion is that this somehow matches. Now, bear in no, mind that the wrong. town that's that they the claim... Way. You keep is... bringing up this picture. Wait, and this is wait not Rumpus, like wait. Let me make my point and then you can respond. Oh, sorry. The, sorry. Their Balakanel town is here. But with regards to Balakanel, there is no set of trees on the horizon and there is no three dots. However, you're, you're in contrast... You're looking across the lines there. In con- there. Wait, like Rumpus. The... You're, in you're contrast, the lines there we're represent saying the lines this is you're Douglas. looking along and you're looking there's across the clump them. of trees and there's the three things that are on the horizon, which would be there's the town, there's the clump of trees, and there's the three things on the horizon. So if the Balakanel claim is correct, let's say for argument's sake that that's Balakanel, where are the trees that relate to it and where is the three buildings that relate to it? Because you've got to have those three focal points, otherwise you're not getting the right town. I disagree, I disagree slightly. It's okay, but the point is the point the point is these two things have got to be relative to the town that they're claiming it is. Yeah, so but that's what I'm you... saying. That's why that's why I disagree that that's actually Douglas that you're looking at those tri- those houses there. I believe that you leave you are seeing the t- the very top houses are part of the Douglas town, but yes. you also have that town in front of it, which is yes. not Canal. It's and the, I, it's I the village that are that. next to that. There is yeah. a little bit of you the town here. Yeah, you can't see inside the actual. Um, no, you're being totally port. You can't actually see inside the port. But you can no, see you can't the see inside the port. That's not what I'm saying. Let, let me just be clear. No, so that for no, the sake, I mean, no. I'm not saying we can you see in the port. I'm saying that we're, of the mountains. You we're seeing up that triangle there. Of, no, you're not. We're seeing that clump, and we're seeing them three. Anything. And we're seeing we're seeing a little bit of the lower of the higher houses that are here, and the overlapping slightly. But relative to the old the landscape we're seeing, it's that clump of trees that need to be shown by Rumpus and those three on the corner. That's what we have, Rumpus. Can you manufacture that in your observation claim around Balakanel? Because the majority of Balakanel is hidden by these rocks. Oh, yes. The, we can't see the, yes, we can't see all of Balakanel. I mean, if you look at my... I don't know if you can see my th- this see this large house here, which I can give the coordinates of again. As I say, you, you're calling that the clump of trees. That that is actually the mount to the. Um, I'm not quite sure what that actually. That's called the mount by Peak Finder. I'm not quite sure uh, where that is on um, Google Earth. But there, so where's I the clump of trees the equivalent of that? And uh, and I, so I can give you the. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so then the picture you've got. Can you repeat your question, absolute, Anthony? Let's let's say that you've got the three dots on the left hand side. Let's say that you've got that. The, Where's the clump of trees equivalent on your identification of Balakanel? Well, you, you're talking about these, these these dots here. No, where you've let's got the mount. Got where them. it says the mount, that's the three dots he's referring to. See the three dots under your giant arrow? I can't see any three dots there. You have to maybe right, have to zoom Rumpus, in. You've just identified three things that were the mount, okay? Is that right? Well it's just one lump. It's called that's that lump is called the mount. Is like that what you're saying is the clump of trees? That what you're calling the clump of trees is to the right of the mount, and these there are three houses here, and I can identify this house here. Okay, so there. if you're identifying that as the, the the mount, where's the clump of trees relative to the town? Because the only place the clump of trees appears is to the top right of the town, not to the top left. I'm not quite sure whether this what this mount is part of. No, it doesn't. It appears to the That's the point. The town. A big clump it isn't of trees lining up, Rumpus. To the top left. There's a big clump of trees to the top left of Douglas. I mean, of, of Balakanel. No, there's Is not. There? There's a, t- a clump of trees to the top right of uh, Balakanel, not to the top left. Yep. There's one to the left. Nope. Right. No, no, there isn't, Paul. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. I'm looking at no, it right now. No, there isn't, Paul. There is no trees to the top left of Balakanel. Can you show us that? Lying. There we go. I can. So we've got, got Anthony's screen up. Yep. Guys, in the Hangout, are you seeing the Skype screen that so, Anthony Riley's sharing? What, 
what Rumpus is saying is this is the mount. Okay, let's give him that the mount's there. I don't, I'm not saying I agree or disagree, but let's just yeah. accept for the sake of discussion that this is the mount. The clump of trees relative to Balacanel needs to be here. But as you can see, the only trees are to the top left, uh, top right of um, Balacanel, and they need to be here. And as you can see, there are no trees here. There is only buildings. So that would appear as more white, and it would look like this. So that is clearly not the right location. What? There has to be the three what proximal the things in are? relation to each other. That that thing that Einstein argues relativity, they've got to be relative to each right other. Exactly and we're not it. seeing it on that, that observation. I don't the view you're getting. I Why just... have you got your elevation profile exaggerated, Anthony? Because otherwise you can't see them. Look, it makes it worse. I'm trying to do that That's to help honest. you, not help me. If I put that back down to the height it should be, you've got no chance of seeing these um, these buildings, because they're too, these, the, these towns, because they're too flat. Well, Look, I'm helping wouldn't you elevate, here. Wouldn't, wouldn't changing the elevation profile being dishonest? No, no he's saying that okay, if you well, lower we'll this it... One. Oh. So where's oh, the height so that that's why it looks so weird. Ah, oh, and the lines have been yeah. going through it. Oh, God. Where's the tuft of trees? Where's the Theory. hump? It's flat. I was giving you the oh. elevation profile to give you the exaggeration now we, line. Now we can see why it's so weird. No. Yeah. What I'm saying is... It's behind ravine, and there's no clump of relative trees. And even right, if you've got that right, point, no, where's the... Okay, th now, I think I understand your point. And you think, because you when you're on the Google Earth where you are there... just had somebody in chat trees. called Rosanna that's come in and said that the you... trees that we're all talking about are indeed Douglas Head. That's somebody else that lives in the Isle of Man, and she's going to go down and take an image of it. Right, we need to add it's that not... person to the call. Let me add that she, person. She wants to come on. She said she'll come on tomorrow. Seriously? It's... Oh. Yeah, Rosanna... Mm, Rosanna... Um... Manuja. <laughs> Paul's having a little yeah, giggle at an eyewitness getting, that can prove him wrong. No Love it. Another eyewitness. Yeah. Yeah. You're, Google Earth and you're, you're trying to get a decent size. Yeah, the Manuja. only way in Google Earth to do that is to get close. And of course, therefore, the perspective of the, having that image, those cliff, the, well, those semi cliff faces near to you, means you can't see the things behind. But when you're further away and zoom in, as Peak Finder does, you don't have that problem. You, you're getting confused between making something the right size and having no, to do it No, but you're Google misidentifying Earth. key camera, landscape your issues that you need to be there, Don't do that in Google Earth. You don't zoom in with a camera in Google Earth. You Rumpus. actually move You need to have, object. You need so to have something that matches the evidence, object, and you don't have it. Let's, let, let's pull right. the, the image back up. That is not matching what we see because the land that's there, uh, the, the, the town or whatever, the, these buildings here is not being um, uh, pr proportionately represented by a set of trees relative, and there is no things over here. And even that, that's even if we give you the lump of land that you say, you well, say is there. Well, I found a peak just at that spot where that what you're calling the tuft of trees. I found a peak at that heading that I gave you earlier from your old, your first video position, and I did find yep. some trees there. And your basic argument is that if you were to draw a line and you look at it, if you move the Google Earth point of view to very close to the island, you can't see the trees. That's of course right, because Google right, Earth so I've got the clump of trees that Rumpus is referring to, and for the benefit of everybody in the audience watching, the let's see trees, whether we can see it when we're down at the level that we're at, or is it blocked by the cliffs? And my position is it's blocked by the cliffs and it doesn't match. So let's move that out of the way. Well, I've got a clump of trees that's not. <laughs> right. So can we see the clump of trees in the background, right? And the answer is no. So let's zoom out until we need to. And now we can see... Oh, hang on, that's a bit too far. Yeah, but Let me just get you, that right. I, I, again, Andrew, I've got to make this point. When you zoom, you don't zoom in uh, Google Earth. You move. And that means you get a very Correct. different view. And things, things when you get close to it, obviously obscure you. Like when you approach a wall... Right, so you know, at this point, we can't see you're the, the trees. Away. Now we can see the trees, but I've got to be at 2,293 feet. Right, but I, I'll explain, I'll so explain it again. It can't when you be them zoom trees. in with a telescope or your camera, that's a very different thing to do to moving towards it. So when you move towards it, say, say there's a small no, wall in the distance, and let's imagine the there's a park thing. or something a long way away from you, and you move towards that wall. The wall obviously then gets takes up a much bigger of your field of view, and you can't see around it. A long way away from that wall, it doesn't have an impact on you. When you go and Google so Earth and you move towards something... The conclusion point, Rumpus, is you're not you, able uh, to find a set of trees that lines up with that head say. that you say it is, or the town that you say it is. However, okay. when I show the yeah, wait a second, I'm a guest. Can I just check if this new guest is real? Guys, sorry, can I just check if this new guest is real? How you doing, new guest? Earth, something? Yeah, Nathan, you gotta take control of your hangouts, dude. But go ahead, guys. Good to have you, Tim. Really useful, that Tim. Continuous sniping in the back chat. I can't do anything about that. Nothing I can do about that. 
if you share my screen, I'll show you the tough of trees that you can see. Yeah, no, there's something you can do about it. You go to hangouts.google.com. Yeah, you want to get me in that back chat. And then you watch for people who snipe You want me in that back chat. I don't want to be there with all you snipers. I'm up here on my hill. Freaking idiot. Yeah, just let him have his little snipers and... Tim on. complaining about snipers. <laughs> yeah, so, isn't it funny that Tim complains about snipers? <laughs> right. Why are you using epistemology? There isn't enough to the left that you can say. There isn't a tough to feed to the left. That's the problem. There is no tough to feed. There needs to be a tough to feed there, Paul, because otherwise there isn't no, you're in the wrong place, Paul. <laughs> uh, is my screen being shared or not? Uh, not at the moment. No, because I can identify the toughest trace. It's not that hard. You can't identify anything, Paul. Because not in lines up when you do it. So Did I'm you get my elevation um, back up to three? Correct, um, uh, put the elevation correct, back up to three just so that the people in the audience can see it. This is the line of sight. There's the triangle of things. There's the tuft of trees. And the three markers that we see on the left-hand side are a combination of this building, this building, and I think there's... Let me zoom back out a bit more. Where was no, the third? Oh, there's a th the third one on the corner. They're the three things. Exaggerated because of the, um, Anthony, the elevation the profile, but nonetheless, they line up. All agree so, on what well, and problem is the rumpus. There's a clump of trees that's relative to all three points that that needs to be there. That's not there on your observation claim. It is there. It isn't rumpus. Right. There is no set of trees there. The land shape well, doesn't match, Paul, and you can't even see most of this here, town because of this. Is Paul got some clump of trees there? Well, there isn't a clump of trees there, Paul. Right. Am I being shared or not? You are being shared. Yes, we can see you, Paul. Right, thank you. This red line here is the line that comes from where he's viewing past the cliffs. This town here, this area of the town here. What? How about... Yeah, we, yeah. Why don't we just get up my volume, Nathan? Excuse me, I haven't done anything to your volume. I've just got a shagged mic connection. Paul. That's well, nothing to do with me. Think... It's not a mic connection. He's been using his voice yeah. changer and it's messed up his normal voice. Well, why That's is he blaming problem, me? I haven't, been... I haven't adjusted his volume. I haven't been, I haven't been using anything. Yes, you have, Paul. No, no, it's just got like a bad a connection. Dalek. It's just got a bad connection. That's it. It's just got to drop and rejoin and it would solve it. But it's nothing to do with me. Don't blame me. voice changer's knackered him up. Yeah, Paul, your voice is distorted as well. So I think there's something going on here. I have a good connection. I don't think it's no. Yeah, he might have a good connection, but he's been using a voice changer and it's messed up his normal sound. Yeah, when he says he hasn't, Anthony, I'm not. Using a voice changer, Anthony. Right, you, have, to do you are using a voice changer. It's changing your voice your right now. Is in the voice changer, Paul. You can't hide that. Whatever reason, you, hey, Paul, you are sound Paul, like it sounds like your it sounds like your RAM. Changer. It sounds like your RAM is overloaded with something. If you can close a couple yeah. windows, possibly. Yeah, it sounds like, yeah, it sounds sounds like, like your RAM. Right. No, he's using his voice changer that he tried to. Sound like an MSN helper. We all know that Australian. I'm, I'm not using a voice changer anyway. Next. Uh, um, Look, let Paul get to his point. We can hear him roughly. If you can all shut up, we can actually hear him just about. Yeah. So can you get to his point and yeah. just don't troll him because he's difficult yeah. to hear. The bit that I'm circling here, the bit that I'm circling here is Laxey. Laxey is behind the ridge. There's a ridge that runs along here that Laxey is hidden behind. You cannot see Laxey. This part of So it, therefore it's an irrelevant now. point, Paul. Right. This, can you just let me go? This part is Balacanel, and this is the part of Balacanel you can see. Okay. Now, if I go up, all right, I'll turn it. There's a clump of trees here to the left, up on the hill, that you can see. That's the clump of trees they, that you're seeing. That clump of trees. Yeah, Paul, right they sit there. on the horizon. Are they sat on the horizon, or are they not sat on uh, the horizon? Yes, yeah, so those trees are up on a hill. Show them sat on the all horizon right, of the that hill. That is the clump of trees. Show them right. sat on the horizon and match so the evidence, the Paul. Here we go. We'll have, we've got five minutes left. Let's see if we stay on bird's eye view what? for five minutes. Yeah, there, oh, yeah, there may be a couple of yeah, trees there, Paul, but are they sat on the horizon from the point of view? Or do you have to manipulate it and be above? No, there's nothing. No manipulation here. I haven't changed anything. Yeah, We're I'm looking like at a bird's eye view. Like, this is this? not so go back the line now, of Paul. sight, Paul. Please. Definitely There's not the now. line of sight. The okay, trees. not the line oh, of sight. Go down, Paul. Down. Down. Just chewing out the time. Yep. Yeah. 
Add a bit of refraction, yeah, Paul. Sure. Go down. Yeah. Here's the line of sight from St. Bees. I've also no, put in... doesn't have enough time to get it down, show it's not there, and then do the maths around it. So he's just going to choose you know, the time out, I think. I video when I produce it. All right. So you do have a line of sight for part of Bella Canal. Going down, Paul. Uh, part of Bella Canal. Still on bird's eye view. Still on bird's eye view. There's Douglas. And that's the Where's the trees, Paul? Show us the trees. All right. They have the trees there. Yeah, but where okay. are they in relation to the line of sight? That's the trees. Be on the line of sight, the way we see it on the evidence, mm. and show us it sat on the horizon, please. Oh, well, you'd have to go all the way back to um, uh, you'd have to go all the way back to the basic line of sight, wouldn't you? Because that's where you're viewing from. Yeah, but Paul, we can repeat what you're Not showing, and it doesn't do what you say it's doing. You're misrepresenting it. And you're making people think I'm that you're being honest, but you're anything. not, Paul. I'm calling I you on it because you can only see those trees from the bird's eye view. You cannot see them trees from the position that the camera was taken, be it from zinc bees or from the zoomed in point so we can see it. So I'm calling you a liar, Paul, because you're misrepresenting the trees. No, I'm not a liar. You're a liar, Paul. Oh, oh, you. Another tree ground that they could be. I don't see any You're other lying, types of Paul, trees That's not the trees. You can't. Area. They cannot so we've be. We've got seen. a couple of minutes before you keep I'm saying the same thing. So we've got a new guest. In 3D. Hey. Don't be silly. How are you doing? Debate oh, flat earth and all. Can you hear us? We've got a new right. guest. Hello. Yeah, but actually, and, no. why, why aren't we addressing why oh, Jen, uh, Riley lied to bring us this evidence? Why he's lied throughout about his elevation? Oh yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Like, let's, let's go with that then. Let's go with that. We're not making any progress so far. I, yeah, I think we should spend some. What have you got to say, Anthony, about the fact that you lied throughout? That you said you were at 35 continuously. feet and you weren't? Yeah, I've got some proof of this. Yeah. There were two videos taken. One was at 35 feet, and I've accepted that the other one, I can't be exact where it was, but it's at the highest at 52 feet. So I don't really care where you put it. You can put no, it at 51 feet, feet. feet, but it wasn't. You you that that his mouth with you that you your own evidence. You yep. showed a video that you said was taken from the top of the hill, and we can match blades of grass in it to a video that you said. No, 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 Jeremy, I said it wasn't because that video was not public. That video was still private. Feet. You've lied by 90 Liar. feet, Anthony. You've lied and you've lied again, and you've lied for, for over two weeks about this. No, I've, I've got no, a no, I maintain my I've position, Jeremy. You, you just don't accept it. I'm going to use my most powers here. You're you're, you're oh, Jeremy, very, very... again, for the sake of Jeremy, I'll tell you exactly what I've said before, and I'm standing by it. The you're first lied. video Stop was at 35 lying, feet. Riley. The second you're video was a little lying. bit higher. He's a little bit further back. That I don't know exactly where it was, but I'm going to maintain it's my position. That specifically Everyone was not see. at You've the top of the hill. So go ahead and stuff There's no lie. face with There's just been dismissal and denial. Here. That's different to me actually... lying. That's actually you guys not accepting the evidence because it shits all over your beliefs. <laughs> you lied, Anthony. You can have it any way you want, Jeremy, but I'm standing my ground. Why are you still lying? I took the pictures lying? and videos but where they were taken your from, and I haven't changed my position. I didn't lie about height. I just gave the value that Google gives it, which is what everybody would do. That's not a lie, Jeremy. It's just reported in the way that we're told to. Oakley ate it up the whole time, too. Where's a thousand foot of wall of water? Can I show some evidence here? Right. If this, this is a screenshot from um, Anthony's uh, second video uh, with the uh, the rig there, and you can see the beach here. And here is a shot from the first video. And you can suddenly say, whoa! Those are really quite different. So I can, I can overlay them in a second so you can see the differences. But um, yeah, you can see immediately... I, I'm fine with that. Is a great... That's not a lie. I, okay, well, I'm, I'm not saying anything at the moment. I'm just pointing evidence about how different Robert, they are. If you go to my channel, I've, got, I've, I've uploaded a video yesterday where Anthony oh. showed us footage from a third video, which he told us was shot from the top of the hill. And oh, yes. he was presenting as evidence, like you're presenting, to show no. differences between this third video shot. No, 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 that's not hill, true, Jeremy. And the I only showed that third video to show the difference the between being at the top shows of the hill and not exactly being at the top the of the hill. Place. Because the third video is not public, Jeremy, in, in, but the assertion the was that he was on top of the hill, happening. and that's simply 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. And, and just in a the minute. second video, which has yeah. been telling us now, he's got from 35 right. No, Jeremy, you don't have to lie, Jeremy. I only showed the third right, video to prove that I wasn't at the top of the hill. Can I demonstrate this? Can I demonstrate what's going on? I've got an overlay here. I've got an overlay here. 
Okay, and with that, I'm going to say first and foremost, a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of the live audience for tuning in and for sharing this video. Be sure to, if you've not done so already, share, like, subscribe. I've been Nathan Oakley, and I'll see you all in the next video.